हरिद्वार वेलकम सर वेलकम डॉक्टर परीक्षित फ्रॉम दुर्गापुर एट प्रेजेंट वेलकम डॉक्टर सुहासनी जी एंड सुनीता जी वेलकम मैडम पारोल जी पारोल जी इज अवल ऑल्सो गार्जियन शी इज ऑल्सो कॉपरेटिंग वेरी मच थैंक यू वेद जयेश जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग डॉक्टर हरीश वर्मा जी फ्रॉम टोरंटो कनाडा और इंटरव्यू वेलकम सर वेलकम सो जगदीश्वर जी वेलकम आई एम सॉरी इन लास्ट टाइम सीन यू बट टुडे इज मिल्क डे एंड मिल्क इज द इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ सो आई टाइटल्ड दिस वेबिनार एज नेक्टर फॉर लाइफ आई होप आई एम आई एम ऑन द राइट पाथ सो नाउ टू एक्सपर्ट्स विल गाइड अस ऑन मिल्क tomorrow is telangana day telangana foundation day to respected jagdishwar ji our selection of saxena dr parveen dr n sridhar will definitely explain us about the tradition of vaidya parampara in telangana day after tomorrow is opium suppression day and on opium suppression day i have just reverse the title opium the medicinal miracle and for that dr k k pande from bhu from uh, dr bhupesh patel from jamnagar and dr arugra narayan singh from soa ringpa will guide us regarding opium miraculous use of opium so thank you thank you thank you very much to all i would like to request professor vk agnihotri ji for welcome address and then would like to request our guardian professor baram thangwal sir for moderation welcome sir thank you thank you dr pavan sharma ji namaskar <clears throat> as uh, dr pavan sharma ji our uh, organizer informed to this platform that it is 384th webinar on today uh, with the topic of the national milk day and uh, as he renamed uh, this top uh, this day to be celebrated celebrated in the form of the nectar uh, the milk nectar of the life nectar of the health so uh, i welcome on behalf of the i r e s uh, that today we have got a very good uh, speakers with their full of knowledge dr shivangini and dr uh, uh, parul ji uh, with the with the support of our great great guardians and great pillars of our is the whole webinar right from professor manan thangwalu ji and our doma ji our harish parma ji uh, <coughs> all great persons are here and the time is on so we on behalf of the ia yes uh, welcome you all with the view that uh, both of the persons being uh, females might be um, better situation to throw light over the importance of milk as well as the its uh, the beauty and its quality as nectar uh we are all to this mark only because of the, that ke our mothers fed us with their nectar so making this day very important your support is uh, very very important and essential so we welcome with the view that uh, this milk has got no alternative so many preparations combination combinations are there even the cow milk cow milk has got its own importance and quality while as mother milk has got its special protein which is nowhere there so in this uh, introductory words we welcome you all to this platform on today's uh, webinar and we do hope that we will be well enlightened with the help of your presentations and your knowledge so thank you we again welcome uh, for today's webinar thank you over to pavan sharma ji thank you sir thank you just to inform and remind yesterday we organized our society has organized mm -hmm. hybrid webinar where that uh, went up to 10:30 or 10:20 <laughs> right from 6 pm so but we not we didn't we didn't we didn't have our dinner that you enjoyed <laughs> we no, were, no, I, I, i couldn't have sir after i was so tired that i couldn't have that i was so <laughs> online persons couldn't get <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rani. That arrangement should also be uh, taken care digitally, sir. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank I, you. Now I would like to request Madan Thangwalu, sir, from Cambridge, UK. Welcome, sir. 
नाउ स्टेज वेबिनार एवरीथिंग इज योर्स तो दियम वस्तु गोविंदम तुभ्य में समर्पित है हरिओम हरिओम पवन जी नमस्कार <coughs> प्रणाम जी अग्निहोत्री जी नमस्कार हरीश जी प्रणाम जी नमस्कार थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच पवन जी वंस अगेन फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अस ऑल टुगेदर एंड एस ऑलवेज फॉर मी इट इज लाइक एवरी वन ऑफ पवन जी इज वेबिनार इज लाइक एन फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन हर रोज जो कुछ पवन जी सरप्राइज ही विल सरप्राइज एस and he is testing all of us in a very difficult challenging mode so pavan ji in reply to your aaj ki sawal ki uttar dene ke liye hamari taraf se agar ijazat dein thoda sa ki ayurved mein aath tarah ka doodh ki varnan kiya eight types of milk is described and uh agnyotri ji just said about cow's milk etc theek hai goat milk is used in uh, um, very importantly used when we do abhishegam for rudra rudra abhishegam is done always with goat milk for instance or there are many details like this aaj ki thoda sa agar ek choti si kahani agar aapko bataye I want to share the screen, Pavanji. I don't know if you will permit me to share my screen. ये कहानी शुरू होती है कहाँ से चरका समिता से चरका समिता की I'm going to take you. You all know चरका समिता, but just for just to share my adventure with चरका समिता, I'm going to take you into what you already know and. it is to do with uh, uh, this section of charaka samhita charaka samhita online now and i am going to take you to chikitsastan and in chikitsastan chapter 9 is unmada chikitsa ab unmada chikitsa ke adhyay ke andar ek hai ji mahakalyanak grida ab i don't don't ask me how i came to this section i was in the yahan pe cambridge university ki library mein we have a book the the old uh, 1949 text from jamnagar is here with us the translation for um, uh, the six volume uh, sanskrit gujarati and hindi translation of charaka samhitas that is a very valuable document I, i don't know how i came to this but one day i was looking through this and in this section there is a mention of a special milk so this is to follow on agniyotri ji's comments about the specialization in milk we are going deep into this thing there is some mention here of grishta shira grishta shira so to cut the long story uh, story short i discussed with many people asking kya cheez hai ye shir to hame pata grishta shir kya cheez hai now in this uh, translation it says milk from a cow that has had its first child prima paris cow this is called grishta shira ठीक है अब इस योग के अंदर महाकल्याण ग्रंथ के अंदर व्हाई आर दे स्पेसिफाइंग ग्रिष्ट शीर क्यों नहीं ऑर्डिनरी शीर सो दिस नंबर वन इज दिस लेवल ऑफ स्पेसिफिसिटी इज ऑफर्ड इन चरक संहिता एंड इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो आई आस्क मेनी पीपल एंड आई आस्क आवर गुरु जी इन पुणे विष्णु जोगलेकर जी फॉर्मर प्रोफेसर एट um tilak mah uh, tilak mahavidyalay and i in discussion with uh, vishnu vishnu ji he said hamari yahan pe maharashtra mein we have a system ki the dood wala will come on special days and he says hamare paas he chees grist shira aaya and then everything opened up in my mind that there is and he says they charge a little more for this milk it's the milk from a cow that has had its first child ab pehli sawal 
उन्माद चिकित्सा में महाकल्याण ग्रदम उसमें क्यों वाई हैव द स्पेसिफाइड कृष्ण शेरा दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू कृष्ण शेरा हैज समथिंग वेरी स्पेशल इफ वी लुक एट द केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी मिल्क एंड कृष्ण शेरा we don't find major difference protein and fats etc we don't but if we look at some unusual molecules which is how my uh, kind of deviation in my search began if you look at a molecule called micro rna and these are very small rna molecules 21 22 base pairs long chote chote molecules then we see the secrets there may be more but at the, at that point we see secrets and i w- then started searching a little more and i found one milk company in japan the name of this company is morinaga milk company and i will Uh, present one of the papers from this company and their analysis was on micro rnas in the milk and this is the paper micro rna as a new immune regulatory agent in breast milk and this is the company morinaga milk industry in japan so i started communicating with them this was early days and they said yes we have something special and in we find a big difference in these micro rnas now you see there is i won't go too much into the detail the paper i will put the reference in the chat box these micro rnas are immune related micro rnas they have incredible we are still learning how they work but they have an incredible ability to readjust the immune system and other functions in the body so when we look at milk yes it is understood different types of milk we understand in charaka samhita you can see in sections where they say you have to feed milk uh, the cow different leaves kai moong ki patte kai sugar cane ki patte you feed them you get different milk with different properties or when we go to unmad chikitsa and we look at that section on mahakalyana gridam and you talk about grishta shira kyo why is it grishta shira and then you do a little more deep dive thoda aur then we see perhaps the secrets that we are really interested in about milk so this is how deep our analysis must go and i feel that when we are preparing ayurveda for the 23rd century or 22nd century and beyond every word in the samhitas are important for us we cannot miss anything there every word is important for us when it says uh, milk from the goat there is a special reason when it says milk krishna shira it means something else when it says shira it means something else so with those few words i just want to leave uh, the platform back to pavan ji with a simple message that milk is not just milk but it may be filled with secrets that we have not understood it will be many hundred years of work ahead if we are with our mind with collaborators with people from japan with everybody joining together we will understand the true meaning of shira and the different types of milk why have they described so many different types of milk cow goat buffalo camel kyo there are so many differences there so this is my simple message pavan ji has always said how can we connect different people from the world and here is a way we can connect using simple shira as a message if we dig a little deep and i hope we can bring young students into our discussion like this with these kind of stories so that they can also set up a future a big future ahead of them studying simple things that are there in our samhitas but analysis at a different and deeper and deeper level pavan ji thank you for bringing all of us together again on this wonderful event thank you for permitting mesmerizing, me mesmerizing sir mesmerizing you are thank really ayurvedic marchi 
born at wrong place, unfortunately, and you will be taking birth in Ayurvedic family, traditional Ayurvedic family, and you will modernize it. Excellent. Excellent, sir. Excellent. That is a new power. We look forward to learning from our Pavanji, Hamari Taraf say Eki Nivedan Eki, Bachom, Bachematlab, first year student, second year student, third year student, fourth year student. Unko layao is camber. Yene MD tak betero. Ne, Pele say, Shuruad say, Todasa Adat Banai is keeper. Research is camber. Parulji, Sonita ji, Yellow Chahe, the students Hamare Sat, Sikhrai Jarura Sat. Definitely. This is last point that immune system effect. Why cannot Ayurveda students connect with National Institute of Immunology in Delhi? Why not? It can be done. Dr. Madan Ji, this word you have used is Shita. Can you put it in the chat? I'll put it in the chat. So, I understanding Are you talking about cholesterol? No, 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 no. It's a difference. The cholesterol is the first milk. Grishta Shira is the milk that comes from a cow that has had its first child. First child? Uh -huh. The first pregnancy. And is it different from cholesterol? It is different from cholesterol. Jo Pali, the cow that is having its first mother, has a completely different immune system compared to multi-parish cow, the second, third, fourth, fifth pregnancy. Right. It is a, is a, it's like an immune reaction that has already happened. So the milk out of the first child, of the, that is the special milk. Okay. Okay. Cholesterol is a different. Cholesterol is the first milk that comes out. That is different. Yes, yes. In every, in a, after every pregnancy. Yes. So, unmada chikitsa, mahakalyana gridam, and unmada chikitsa dhya, mahakalyana gridam. Ye dekho. So, I, hamari taraf se maafi mangna chata hon ki hum to ayurved ke admi nahi hai. Fir bhi thoda sa. Professor Madan sir, maafi to ham logon ko malni chahiye jo ayurved wale hain. <laughs> आपने मैं मैं समझ नहीं पा रहा हूं कि भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने अर्जुन जी को तो दिव्य दृष्टि दी थी तब जाके उन्होंने अर्जुन जी कृष्ण जी को समझ पाया आपको कहां से कौन से कैम्ब्रिज के कौन से गुरु जी ने ऐसी दिव्य दृष्टि दी है कि आयुर्वेद के ग्रंथ जो मुर्दा जैसे रखे रहते हैं उनमें जाके आपने वो वाली बीम डाली है टॉर्च की मतलब कोई एलईडी से भी कोई बहुत आगे होती होगी बीम जो सूर्य रश्मि डाली है कि कोलेस्ट्रम तो हमेशा आएगा हर बार की डिलीवरी के बाद जो फर्स्ट आएगा और दूसरे जो गाय को आता है हमारा मिल्क में आता है लाता है कि भाई ये इसमें उसको हम लोग खीस बोलते हैं खीस लाए फर्स्ट टू थ्री डेज का मिल्क उसको वाते एकदम फट जाता है चूना जैसा हो जाता है रिच विद कैल्शियम बट आपने जो पहली पहली बार जो डिलीवर किया है बेबी गाय ने वो की बात की है तो क्या इसके पीछे एक ये संदेश और नहीं जा रहा है कि हमको अधिक से अधिक गाय पालना चाहिए बिल्कुल पहला बहुत बड़ी चीज जो कही आज हम गो सेवा गो पालक गो रक्षा और बहुत सी बातें कर रहे हैं ये धर्म से कोई मतलब नहीं है अगर हमको गाय और ये भी ये भी भगवान थैंक गॉड दैट उन्माद इतना बड़ा रोग नहीं है जो हर तीसरे चौथे को होता हो क्योंकि उन्माद भी एक रेयर है लेकिन आज के हेट्रिक लाइफ में ज्यादा भी हो सकता है उस कंडीशन में पहले ये ढूंढा जाए उनके यहाँ तो आपके गुरु जी के जवल की क्या तो आ गया मिल्क वेट खुद कह के आ जाता था कि हम आज वो वाला लाए हैं इसके मतलब हर नई गाय जो होगी जो पहली बार प्रेग्नेंट होगी उसका मिल्क तो नेचुरली वो टेन ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड टाइम्स भी कीमती हो जाएगा तो उसके बहुत वैल्यू है लेकिन इसके पीछे मैसेज आ गया है कि हम सबको कृष्ण जी की तरह गोपालक बनना चाहिए जिससे कि और उस रेयर गोदुग का पान करें क्योंकि उसमें गोल्ड भी होता है सब जानते हैं गाय के दूध में गोल्ड है मनुष्य के मदर मिल्क में जो मदर मिल्क प्रोटीन मदर मिल्क प्रोटीन ह्यूमन प्रोटीन है वो अलग है बट आपकी तो आपके तो अगर उन्माद की बात न भी कहें तो भी मैं सोचता हूँ हर हेल्दी पर्सन के लिए ये वाला दुग्ध बहुत ही रेयर और अमृत से भी आगे कुछ होता हो तो होगा बहुत बहुत आपका शुक्रिया तहे दिल से सारा आयुर्वेद आपका ऋणी हो गया सारा आयुर्वेद ऋणी हो गया धन्यवाद 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 सर दोनों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं अब आदरणीय वैद्य पारुल जोशी जी को आमंत्रित करता हूं 
I would like to invite Vedh Parul Joshi ji, Principal, Sri Bala Hanuman Ayurvedic College, and ex former Principal of SMIAS, Rajko. Welcome, Madam. Welcome. Now stage is yours. Welcome. Parul ji, Pranam ji. Pranam sir ji. Good evening everybody. और आप सबको जान के प्रसन्नता होगी कि मेरे गुरुजी शुभांगी मैडम इस वक्त जुड़े हैं और मैं बहुत ही खुश हूँ क्योंकि मुझे काफी सालों बाद मैडम को सुनने को मिलेगा तो पवन साहब आपकी वजह से मैं मैडम को फिर से सुन पाऊंगी शी वाज माय गुरुजी व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग माय पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन तो शुरू करते हैं सर पारुल जी आपके प्रेजेंटेशन हो तो प्लीज भेज दिए सब सब शेयर करेंगे आपके पास है जी प्रेजेंटेशन या किसके पास है जी पारुल जी नमस्कार नमस्कार सर पवन साहब को भेज भेज अच्छा अच्छा पवन साहब एक काम कर दीजिए जी हमें भेज देना जी पवन जी पारुल जी इफ यू सेंड इट टू मी यहाँ से आई कैन शो इट हमारी चैट बॉक्स में एड ई मेल एड्रेस अपॉलोजीज फॉर दिस पारुल जी आ गया हमारी ई मेल एड्रेस उसमें भेज दीजिए अपॉलोजीज फॉर दिस लाइट डिले but we will we are just waiting for parul ji's uh, presentation agnyoz ji sorry for this slight delay thoda sa shayad pavan ji ke paas aa gaya pavan ji is traveling so apologies for this in the meantime i would like to request guru ji or madam shivangi ji shivangi ha ji up till then shivangi ji namaskar हेलो शुभांगी जी नमस्कार जी प्लीज द फ्लोर इज फ्लोर इज योर्स व्हाइल वी रिसीव पारुल जी इज प्रेजेंटेशन प्लीज यस नमस्ते सर शुड आई स्टार्ट हां जी प्लीज प्लीज ओके सर ओके विल यू गिव मी द परमिशन टू शेयर द स्क्रीन यस यू हैव द परमिशन टू शेयर द स्क्रीन शी इज ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग सर व्हाइल वी वेट फॉर पारुल जी इज प्रेजेंटेशन नो प्रॉब्लम शुभांगी जी प्लीज पढ़ियो लो छो दर वक्त नहीं छे मारे तो शेयर नहीं सर मैं सर मैं स्क्रीन ही शेयर शेयर नहीं आया नहीं जी अभी तक इट्स नॉट हियर की भी पिक करूं माय स्क्रीन नॉट येट जस्ट चेक नाउ मैडम जस्ट कमिंग आ थैंक यू Thank you. We have a slight change in program, Parul ji. While your presentation is with us, we will invite Shubhangi ji just uh, to continue with her presentation. Namaskar, Shubhangi ji. Namaskar, sir. Uh, just uh, let me know, sir, whether my screen is visible. The slides is, are properly visible. Then I will start. Screen is visible. Slides are visible. You just need to put it on presentation mode. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is it full screen now? That's good. Thank you, yeah. madam. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, okay. number one. But we apologies for the slight. No, no, no. It's no issue, sir. No problem. And thank you for thank you for being with us today, and we look forward yeah. to learning from you. Yeah, yeah. Namaste, Sharade Devi, Saraswati, Madhya Pradesh, Vasatvam, Mama Jivagre, Sarva Vidya Pradabhu. All the respected dignitaries on this online uh, dais of Zoom. today uh, from so many corners of the world rather uh, not only india but rather so many corners of the globe we all are together here on this zoom platform and the only person behind all these efforts 
if i am not wrong he is none other uh, than professor pawan kumar sharma sir because all his uh, with his great efforts only we people can meet together we can share and exchange our ideas and thoughts on this very knowledgeable platform uh, i think this is my second uh, lecture on this platform previously i had talked about the foot and uh, ayurveda ahar vidhi and ayush on last year in october and again uh, this platform gave me uh, this opportunity today to share my thoughts on the milk so i am thankful to all the dignitaries all the very active members of this uh, society uh, ires i am thankful to all uh, professor agnihotri sir professor harish verma sir then professor madan sir from uh, cambridge and also though madam is saying that she is my student i am much uh, smaller in age by her it was just a part of curriculum that uh, though i am smaller in age but i become her teacher because uh, i really Uh, appreciate madam because even after so many years of uh, service she came here in ipgtra as a md scholar in the ptsr department uh, as uh, she was at that time she was medical officer and uh, from that quota of government of gujarat she was deputed here for the completion of her md course and she very uh, zilindly uh, with very much enthusiasm and all those things she again we have just like a student that this is her greatness that today she is calling me as a teacher i am really thankful parvi madam just before one month only we were uh, met uh, physically here because madam had come for a meeting in jamnagar and we uh, met at that time so uh, we uh, without taking much time now i would directly uh, start with my presentation and uh, again uh, then no doubt today we are uh, celebrating the world milk day today and from ayurveda point of view just uh, professor madan sir told in his introductory speech that in ayurveda eight types of milks and all those things have been explained so here i am uh, presenting the overall general view from ayurveda point of view regarding the milk but uh, i am somewhat sorry uh, uh, somewhat sorry uh, because the title of my presentation is some um, or different as uh, given by the organizers that is milk nectar for life but my presentation is somewhat uh, different that my title is milk nectar or poison just think before the use so let's start with our presentation today uh coming to the introduction it's the well recognized fact that every individual is having a healthy body can only afford to perform all the activities leading to happiness heaven and salvation as ayurveda has told that dharmartha kama mokshanam arogyam mulam uttam and for this preservation of health ayurveda has described the three pillars of health and first and foremost pillar of the health is ahar that ahar nidra and brahmacharya food sleep and the uh, what do we call it as a celibacy today if one to one just translation is done but it's not celibacy always it is just the uh, controlled sexual intercourse or sex uh, can be taken as the pillar of the health so among these three pillars of the health or trayok stambha ahar is the essential as the basic factor for the attainment of all the all types of health because ayurveda is not talking about only the personal health but personal health is they are it's it is having also different aspect that is physical health psychological health sensorial health and uh, your uh, social health also and so ahar is the main pillar and in our routine food pattern of family if we uh, see the breadth and length of the whole world in not only in india but in whole world milk is a general food ingredient or it is a ingredient of our day to day food patterns so milk is becoming an essential entity in all the countries uh, worldwide if we talk about ayurveda the amongst the brahma three that in the first and foremost charak sanhita Uh, the acharya charak has uh, given or he has described some general qualities of milk that uh, what are the 
gunas what are the qualities of milk and what are the general functions uh, the milk can perform when we uh, drink the milk or when we uh, have the intake of milk as a uh, part of the daily diet so in charak sanhita in the very first chapter that is dirgan jeevite adhyay only acharyas have talked about the eight types of milk and there only uh, they have acharyas have explained the general qualities of milk as prayasho madhuram snigdham shitam stanyam payomatam prinanam bruhanam vrushyam medyam ballam manaskaram jeevaniyam shramaharam shwasakas nibarhanam hanti shonita pittam cha sandhanam vihatasya cha sarva prana bhutam satmyam shamanam shodhanam tatha trushnagnam deepaniyam cha shreshtam kshinakshateshu cha here you can see the wide range of the qualities of milk that being uh, sweet in taste that is madhura in rasa out of the shat rasas then if we talk about uh, or we 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 think about milk from the gurvadi guna point of view that is the mainly the 20 gunas or the 20 qualities which are mainly we call it as the pharmacological uh, qualities of any drug or any food item then in that terms milk is said to be the snake the sheet the stanya that means again it is lactogenic then prinanam and bruhanam also here the word uh, both the words uh, that is prinanam and bruhanam they indicate two different functions of milk prinanam is at uh, the nourishment or it's just a satiety uh, after drinking the milk at the psychological level because prinanam is mostly the satisfaction at the level of the psyche and bruhanam means is exact output in terms of the volume or in terms of the dhatu pushti that when there will be the mamsa pushti then there will be the uh, weight gain and that is indicated by the word of bruh by the word bruhan here by the acharyas then again it's madhya and vrusha that means among the sapta dhatus if we want to focus again on the shukra dhatu particularly then the milk is having the afro sorry the milk is having the aphrodisiac uh, quality or the aphrodisiac property then madhya also that means uh, at the level of the psyche and uh, on the different faculties of our mind that means the dhi dhruti and smriti these are the three faculties of the mind uh, on which our memory our intellect and our uh, all the decision power they are dependent and mainly here uh, the word madhya has been used while indicating the properties of milk that means it is increasing your dhi or buddhi or it is increasing your intellect mainly then balyam it is giving you the strength it is manaskaram that is useful for the mental fac- all mental faculties uh that means it may work as the coolant uh, at the level of the mind or in different psychological disorders also we can use the milk uh, as a drug also as a medicine also and also as a anupan then uh, mainly if we talk about this is uh, in first shloka we can take it as the qualities or the properties of milk when it is being used at in the healthy individuals that for maintenance of the health for promotion of the health and mainly from the for the rasayan purpose how the milk is working at our different srotasas or uh, at our different uh, body tissues and from second uh, sutra it is uh, talking mainly about the uh, diseases that means in which type of diseases or in which diseases we can use milk from management uh, point of view or for the elevation of the diseases or for the uh, treatment of different diseases how we can use the milk so mainly it is uh, told as the jivaniya also and the shramahara also and uh, that means it is mainly uh, working on the fatigue when we are having fatigue uh, fatigue after excessive work uh, then we can also use the milk Uh, for the replenishment of our body tissues here shrama uh, if we can see the shrama word generally if we talk from the sanskrit point of view it generally talks about the physical exertion but nowadays we are having so much uh, mental exertion or the psychological exertion because when we are living in the era of the information and technology maximum times when we are uh, sitting in our offices and working on the laptops and uh, 
computer desk and all those things then uh, for the uh, mental exertion also we can uh, drink milk and shwasakas uh, nibarhanam it is also told but my personal opinion is that that uh, and even acharyas have also uh, at some places uh, uh, they have described clear cut that in all types of shwasas and all types of kasa that means in all types of uh, breathlessness and the coughing you uh, we can't use milk as a medicine but rather when there is particularly exclusively vata dominance in the shwas and kas means purely vata ja shwas and vata ja kas is there and again when there will be the sampraapti will be due to the dhatu kshaya then only uh, we should use the milk as a medicine not in all types uh, again Uh, they have told that it's hanti uh, shonita pitta mainly the rakta pitta that means mainly we can say the bleeding disorders uh, where the pitta uh, factor or the pitta dosha dominance is there at that time also we can use milk as a medicine then they have told us sandhanam vihatasya mainly after trauma any physical trauma uh it can uh, be used mainly for the treatment purpose and important thing they have told us sarva prana bhrutam satmya that means milk is uh, satmya not only for the human beings but for all kinds of animals it or all kinds of the uh, mainly the creatures the milk is satmya from their birth itself and also it can be used as a shaman therapy that is palliative therapy palliative care also we can use the milk and also for the shodhan purpose that is for the panchkarma purpose also we can use the milk and again the it is the trushnagna mainly it will uh, reliever your thirst then deepaniya also they have said but and shreshtham uh, kshinakshateshu uh, but uh, here i think it Uh, it will be deepaniya only in certain conditions and not in all conditions because generally uh, the milk is madhura rasatmak so uh, its vipak will be also madhur and it's having the sheet area that is its uh, uh, potency is sheet or cold so um, in certain conditions only the milk will work as the deepaniya and not in all conditions again uh, moving to next uh, when we move forward in the charak sanhita itself in the fifth chapter that is in matra shiti adhyay where the detailed descriptions of regarding the food patterns and all the uh, foods which are indicated for the daily intake that is in under the heading of the nitya sevaniya dravyas also uh, acharya have explained or they have listed the paya or milk as the it should be your ingredient of the daily diet and here uh, there is one uh, we should use the tantra yukti uh, always because antariksham it indicates the um, uh, water the uh, rain water directly and paya here though paya is also the synonym of water but here uh, also acharya chakrapani the commentator of uh, charaks the renowned commentator of charak sanhita he has told that paya is uh, should be taken as the kshiram that means the dugdha and not only the water because antariksham the word itself indicates the water again when we go forward in the sutrasthan itself in the 25th chapter of sutrasthan of charak sanhita where uh, in the agra sangra that means the shreshtha dravyas or the best drugs uh, they have been indicated in that kshira is indicated as the agra for the jivaniya uh, jivaniya purpose or kshiram jivaniyana in all kinds of drugs medicines or therapies which are jivaniya in nature the kshir is the best one so uh, if we talk about the properties of milk again if we compare uh, in our body itself or the body tissues itself the ojas or the oja which is the final product of after the dhatu parinaman it is has it is having the identical properties as that of the milk and also the milk is a refrigerant and it is acting as a bracing beverage or we can say it as a replenishing beverage after the shram mainly again uh, the two extra properties or two special properties of milk 
or it's a rasayan and bishol that is it will act on the seven uh, dhatus also and it will act specifically on the shukra dhatu also so uh, for vrishya purpose or aphrodisiac purpose also we can use the milk uh, again uh, it the most important thing is that in all kinds of age groups right from the uh, kid or right from a newly born ch uh, child up to the avruddha that means the old age person or the jar, uh, in the period of the jara or sthavira also the milk is said to be the best diet and that's why it is called as again it is uh, indicated by the word as ajanma satya that means from birth to death the food which is compatible to all uh, human beings is the milk and mainly it can be used as the in the management of the kshatakshina that means uh, the cachexia mainly due to the shaya of the all the seven dhatus and as well as it is said as the best uh, food for the shudha karshita vyavai karshita and vyayama karshita and if we see the sampraapti or the pathogenesis of these three kinds of uh, three stages particularly shudha karshita vyavai karshita and vyayama karshita due to excessive uh, shudha vek dharan uh, and due to excessive vyavai that means due to excessive uh, sexual intercourse or sexual uh, behavior and vyayama that means excessive physical exercise when there will be the aggravation of particularly vata vata dosh in our body then only we should uh, think about the milk as the medicine and uh, hence the milk is having a special importance that it is a complete and ideal food and it should be a, a ingredient of your balanced diet as per the ayurveda and that's why it has been indicated in the nitya sevaniya dravas uh, if we uh, go for the chemical composition or the nutritional uh, evaluation of the milk we can see that it contains mainly the proteins also it contains carbohydrates in the form of lactose it is having the fats also it is having most of the vitamins except the uh, vitamin c then minerals it is rich of of in calcium and mainly the phosphorus and also uh, it is containing some enzymes that is amylolytic proteolytic and lipolytic but we will not go much in detail about the chemical composition uh, we will focus on the ayurvedic point of view majorly and if we talk about the types of milk according to ayurveda in the very first chapter of dirgan jivita adhyay only acharya charak has talked about the eight types of milk that avikshira ajakshira gokshira mahiksha shikra ushtri shira then nagikshira and vadavaya striyastha that means the avi means the sheep milk then goat milk cow milk then buffalo milk then milk of the camel then milk of the elephant milk of the horse and lastly the striya that means the stanya that is human breast milk uh, just in the opening speech introductory uh, speech uh, professor madan sir uh, just said that why these eight types of milks have been uh, explained in the ayurveda so it is my personal opinion after uh, learning ayurveda uh, with uh, since so many years that uh, since uh, my very first bms when uh, i took admission in the uh, bms and all that and after having uh, this 17 years of teaching experience my personal opinion is that mainly uh, when we see the diversity of india Uh, from kashmir to kanyakumari we are having uh, the different uh, environmental um, setups because whatever is the environment or the climate in the kashmir it is not same in the kanyakumari like that that is south east west or the four direction and even in the central india they are having their own climates different climates and according to the climate if you can see the domestic animals are different so whatever will be the domestic animal and whatever will be the available because availability in the abundance uh, even in the bheshaj when uh, acharya has talked about the chikitsa chatushpad in the second chatushpad it is uh, they have talked about the bheshaj or the drug and while talking about the qualities of the bheshaj in terms of its uh, sampat they uh, they have talked about the bahuta 
that means the availability in abundance so even if the go or the cows are available from all uh, kashmir to kanyakumari or, or in all parts of the india rather in all parts of the world but uh, there are certain domestic animals different in each climatic zone and whatever is available to you you should it uh, you should use it as a medicine you should use it as a, as a food because uh, mainly if uh, we see that uh, in ashtanga sangra also uh, one quotation has been given by the vagbat that yasya deshasya yo jantu that means the person where he or she is born and where he or she has brought up all the medicines in that particular climate or in that particular region uh, or the foods or the drugs which are available in that uh, country or that climate they can be used for the uh, treatment purpose for that particular person so here uh, the availability may be the issue uh, may be the concern behind or uh, thinking all these things and also the which animals you are having because if we see in rajasthan you may not uh, uh, the ushtrik shir will be available even uh, here i am in india i am now migrated to gujarat since last 15 years so here also we can see that camel milk is a common thing because many of the teams uh, in the ground level if we go in the fields and all that we can see that the people are really using the uh, camel milk uh, hastikshir and ashwakshir nowadays they may be out of our reach because uh, now government doesn't permits us for the uh, keeping uh, elephants as per the rules and laws and ashwa though they are uh, they are uh, being the domestic animals but they are also real so if we talk about uh, the availability mainly the gokshir and mahishakshir they are abundantly available all over the world and rest of the uh, shir uh, even the if we uh, i am talking about mainly the animal milks hmm? Uh, not about the human milk because human milk again it's a specific milk it is uh, available to all human beings till uh, the first six months of uh, their life that our every mother particularly if we talk about the india and rural india and even in the urban india uh, exclusively the babies are fed uh, with the breast milk for the first six months exclusive breastfeeding unless and until the mother is not having any issue regarding the breast milk so gokshir and mahishakshir are still abundantly available with us but ushtikshir hastikshir and ashwakshir they are just like the rare ones in the, and avikshir and ajakshir it depends in which country and in which state uh, in which climate you are according to the uh, domestic animals they will differ and uh, we are having less uh, less availability of avikshir and ajakshir so that could be the concern that why eight types have been uh, you are explained uh, dependent on the climate and all that and depending on the availability so whatever is available to you as uh, even in charak sanhita and sushruti is also uh, said that that na adravya masti kinchit whatever is uh, panchabhautik uh sarvam dravyam panchabhotikam and we can use it for the each and everything uh, which is available in the universe we can use it for the treatment purpose or uh, for a medicine purpose so coming to the godugdha uh, sir kindly tell me what time we are having a it's uh, if i am taking much time then so bhai ji your yes. your presentation is so fascinating please continue ji please continue okay. we are okay so uh, coming to first that kshiram jeevaniyanam when the acharyas are talking about kshira again there is a common rule that when the specific type of kshira is not been explained by acharyas we should take it as the cow's milk or gokshira that is the common rule when it is unwritten or uh, when it is not clear cut mentioned specifically then it should be always taken as the gokshira or the cow's milk so uh, then why uh, again the question arises in our mind that why cow milk only why not the mahishakshira uh, we should uh, just like madan sir said we should always analyze the things so first and foremost thing is that 
that if we talk about the godugdha go it is the most wholesome among all types of milk it is lagu in nature means uh, it is lagu and it is light for digestion even if we cannot feed the baby with the human milk or the breast milk uh, his mother's breast milk the gokshir or the go, uh, cow's milk is said to be the best one that if the mother, in some cases when dhatri is not available if uh, in worst case if the mother has died or if the mother is having any disease or any such conditions that she can't feed her baby at that time also the it is said that the godugdha can be given as the replacement of the mother's milk to any baby and even you can uh, we can see that not only for the human beings but uh, for the all animals where uh, they are the breastfed by their mothers if their mothers are not available the animal mothers in that case also we can feed those animal babies with the cow's milk that means the the cows uh, and that's why the cows uh, milk is said has the most wholesome among all types of milk it is the demulcent and it does not increase the normal quantity of the slimy uh, secretions in the internal channels of the body that means mainly if we talk about the strava that or uh, the clay the 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 cow's milk even if it is having the drava guna that means it is liquid in nature it is snigdha but still its snigdhata doesn't increases the snigdhata in our body rather it maintains the snigdhata or anktasness of all our body channels or all our body tissues again uh, it is a good elixir and proves to be curative in hemoptysis mainly when uh, there is the hemoptysis it is said as the stambhak and it is also the good elixir just like uh, amrut or just like nectar the cow's milk uh, and that's why many of the times it is all uh, it is having the synonym as the amrut or the go amrut or the piyusha go piyusha these synonyms you can see all over the sanhitas or in your uh, in our uh, general day to day life also again it is cold and uh, sweet in taste and in the chemical reaction that means it's rasa and vipaka both are the madhur and mainly if we talk about its action on the three doshas then it elevates the vata dosh and pitta dosh and still it is not increasing the kapha dosh that's the main property of the godugdha and that's why it is said to be the most wholesome and accordingly it is the most efficient of the vitalizing agents if we talk about the mahish dugdha or milk of buffalo uh, though the general properties will be uh, the same or the common but still it will differ from the cow's dugdha and if we compare the go dugdha and mahish dugdha that is cow's milk and buffalo's milk buffalo's milk is heavy for digestion it will take more time for digestion as compared to the cow's milk and that's why it is said as the abhishandi or maha abhishandi that means it will increase your clay the in your uh, mainly the all strotasas or uh, in the body though it is a uh, sweet in taste and it is also in uh, sweet that means madhur in rasa and madhur vipak is there and if it is taken in the wrong quantity it may tend to impair your digestion and also it increases the strava in your body it's a guru uh, in nature if we talk about the gurvadi gunas and also it is uh, sopophoric that means it is sleep inducing so mainly uh, if we talk about the insomnia or the patients who are having issues with the mainly with the sleep insomnia or disturbed sleep in those cases we can use mahisha dugdha as a medicine or as a treatment purpose is also cool in nature and it uh, why it is uh, heavy though Uh, we don't know uh, or we don't have any such chemical compositions written in the uh, our sanskrit sanhitas but the pharmacological properties have been given in our sanhitas and that's why while godugdha is said to be the lagu uh, at the same time mahish dugdha is said as the guru and on nowadays the chemical composition proves that why it is guru because it contains more fatty acids uh, as compared to the cow's milk and that's why when there is a fat fat is more in your food it will naturally take more time for digestion and that's why in terms of the digestion it has been uh, given the uh, property has been given as the guru then it's having more snigdhata as compared to the cow's milk 
and that's why it is mostly useful uh, when we talk about uh, from the treatment point of view mainly for the insomnia that is anidra and then disturb sleep and mainly the atyagni or the bhasmak we can use the mahesh dugda or buffalo's milk as the treatment because when uh, you are having bhasmak or atyagni that means whatever food you are taking it is uh, digested in very less time so at that time we have to give such foods that uh, which will take more time for digestion and at that time the right uh, choice of drug should be the mahish dugda or buffalo's milk because it will take naturally more time for digestion so it will counteract on your uh, increased agni then coming to the ajadugdha or the milk of goat uh, it is said to be the astringent that is it is though it is sweet or madhurin rasa still its predominant rasa is the kashai ras first when we, we will drink we will uh, realize the kashai ras in it and last uh, and its anuras is madhu uh, madhur or the sweet it is also the cold it is boil binding mainly it is tambak that's why uh, like uh, the diseases where there is uh, atisar or the diarrhea in that case also again in the vatij type of atisar only we can use as the ajadugdha as the uh, stambak for the treatment purpose it is again light it is laghu as compared to again uh, godugdha and it is for useful mainly for the persons suffering from the rakta pitta diarrhea then kasa and jwar because in jwara though many types of milks are contraindicated still ajadugdha is indicated in certain types of uh, jwara and mainly if we talk about in the chikitsa of jirna jwara ajadugdha has been uh, indicated by our acharyas and the reason behind it may be in jirna jwara when your agni is uh, somewhat decreased or it is diminished your digestive fire when it is low at that time Uh, and still when we need the unctusness we need the properties of milk at that time ajadugdha could be your choice of drug and also in diarrhea that is atisar and kasa it will be better and uh, if we see regarding the properties the goat milk contains the same properties as that of cow's milk and especially it is beneficial to the person suffering from the thesis that means mainly if we talk about in the tuberculosis or in the rajakshma uh, rajakshma and uh, the kshatakshina ajadugdha uh, is the or the bakri ka doodh in the daily term when we we have to mention because when we are sitting in the opd it's we uh, can't talk so much or we can't use so much sanskrit terms so we have to tell the patients or the laymans like the bakri ka doodh aap pina chalu kijiye so it's the uh, said as the best route again uh, in jalodhar mainly if we can see we can give the uh, ajadugdha that means uh, again with his uh, properties of the lagu and still it is the snigdha it is again the light astringent and mainly uh, the uh, reason why we should give the ajadugdha uh, in the conditions when the some factors or the when the body fluids are going out of your body for the stambhan purpose for stopping them we need the kashayras the astringent uh, or the kashayras will work mainly on that pathogenesis and the fluids which are going out of, uh, of body in excessive quantity they will be stopped they will be uh, counteracted and they will be taken care of with the ajadugdha then also uh, in case of dyspnea cough and hemoptysis and also in uh, amla pitta or the gastritis in different types of gastric ulcers also we can use as ajadugdha because uh, uh, all kinds of milk having a general property of vrana ropana so uh, in internal uh, wounds when we cannot apply just like any ointment or any malam uh, just like what we apply on the external um, wounds at that time also ajadugdha can be also a good choice of uh, our treatment or medicine and also it proves curative in almost all diseases then avidugdha that means the sheep milk it is regarded as the most unwholesome among all milks because the milk of sheep is hot in potency this is the uh, exactly opposite all types of milks they are generally cold in nature but only the avik dugdha or the ship milk is having the ushna virya 
and uh, that's why it may aggravate uh, the hiccup and dyspnea at some time and though it is madhura rasatmak demulsant but it is guru in nature that means it is heavy for digestion and it all aggravates the disorders of mainly the pitta dosha and kapha dosha but it could be a good diet Uh, in certain conditions but there are uh, there are very uh, less conditions or less number of that is exclusively vata dominance is there then due to its hot potency we can use it but we have to uh, make some sanskar of vata shamak uh, drugs on it or siddhakshir should be used not only the uh, not directly the plain milk hmm? then ushtra dugdha that is camel milk again it is also uh, though it is snigdha it is again also hot in nature it is slightly saline that's uh, one important thing that kinchit lavana rasta uh, is there in the ushtra uh, or the camel milk though it is madhur but you will have that lavana uh, ras also you can perceive when you you drink it then it is again lagu in nature that is lagu a light for digestion and it is mainly useful for the person suffering from the ana that means when there is fullness of abdomen mainly it is related to ajirna or indigestion at that time ushtra dugdha could be a, your choice of a drug then parasitic infections a certain endemic conditions then ascites spice and other diseases mainly vata kapha uh, disorders you can have the ushtra milk moving to the next that is milk of the unbifurcated animals mainly the mare and ass all this though all are their strength promoting stabilizing but they are hot uh, and light in nature and mainly they can be used for the elevation of the water diseases because all kinds of milk are unctus there snake the no doubt there is no any uh, doubt about that and lastly coming to the human milk or the breast milk that is tri dugdha it is very invigorating nourishing the wholesome for all human beings since their birth and also useful for the rakta pitta mainly uh, if we uh, talk about the nasagat uh, rakta pitta is there when there is bleeding from your nose particularly at that time if breast milk is available and if you do, uh, do the nasya that is external application just you are putting the breast milk in the nostrils of that person then uh, the, we could stop the bleeding uh, in emergency conditions many of the times many traditional vaidyas have used the breast milk and we can see the excellent uh, uh, results of the in the case of the nasagat rakta pitta mainly and it is soothing for the persons also having pain in the eyes that means if uh, due to the vata uh, dominance in uh, eyes if we have the dryness of eyes then many of the times there is redness of eyes pain in eyes due to vata predominance then at that time also we can do the stanya anjan or uh, stanya parishek on eyes and it uh, proves to be very much beneficial so not for the internal purpose or not uh, for only for the uh, internal uh, intake the milks are used for external purpose also for external applications also in uh, different therapies or treatment treatment protocols milks can be used moving to the next that why i have titled uh, my presentation as milk uh, nectar or poison because though the different types of milks are having different uh, good qualities in them but still uh, in all conditions not always milk can be used because in certain conditions if we use milk it could be uh, it could work as or it could prove as the poison and uh, the indications and contraindications have been given our uh, by our acharyas uh, that milk when we use it is a patya or wholesome that in case of jirnajwara mainly Uh, when there is dhatu kshaya in all those cases milk can be used then in kasa shwasa shosha kshaya again not in all kinds or not all types when there is particularly the vata predominance and the path pathogenesis of vata vyadhi is due to the dhatu kshaya mainly then we can use it not in the avrodha janya vata vriddhi or avrodha janya uh, 
water diseases we cannot use milk because it will again increase the uh, avrodh then in gulma unmada jalodar then murcha brahma mada dahan pipasa if we uh, analyze all these conditions we can see the common thing is that when the lagu and ruksha guna of vata is increased at that time you can use milk as patya and in case of pitta when the ushna guna is increased in that case we can use milk as patya due to its shita guna or so we have to analyze each and every condition on the basis of the aggravation of the three doshas that out of the three doshas uh, which one is increased or decreased and with which uh, quality mainly the property of the uh, three dosha which one is increased and which one is decreased so dependent on the aushansh kalpana or dependent on the vikalpa samprapti only we can use milk as a patya and in which conditions milk is contraindicated by uh, our acharyas mainly the amaj jwara that means the first stage of all kinds of jwaras when there is samata when there is ama is there in that condition milk should be always contraindicated and uh, in general uh, day to day uh, patients when we are coming in our opds generally what they do ki uh, uh, when they are suffering from fever जब बुखार आया है कॉमन में वो खाना नहीं खाते हैं लेकिन एक गलती करते हैं कि वो दूध पीते हैं हाँ और बहुत सारे पेरेंट्स जिनको पता नहीं है बहुत सारे लेमैन एडल्ट भी क्या करते हैं नहीं भूख नहीं लग रही है या फीवर है तो आज मैं खाना नहीं खाऊंगा लेकिन मैं दूध पो के सो जाऊंगा तो दिस इज अगेन इंक्रीजिंग द आमा इन दैट ज्वरा कंडीशन सो इन आमा जी ज्वरा और इन फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ ऑल काइंड ऑफ ज्वरा मिल्क शुड इज ऑलवेज कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड बिकॉज इट विल इंक्रीज यूर आम एज इट इज हैवी फॉर डाइजेशन and if we want to use milk in these conditions again we have to go for only go dugdha and again we have to use the siddha kshira but in ama condition always all kinds of milk are contraindicated and you can uh, use them uh, with siddha kshiras after when the samata has been uh, you have taken care of samata you have now converted uh, the uh, sama jwara in niram jwara after uh, your treatment then only we can go for the milk and that's why in the jirna jwara it is indicated but in amaj jwara it is contraindicated again in tamak shwasa when there is kapha predominance at that time also milk is contraindicated in kaphaj rudra in kaphaj basti rogas in kaphaj kasa in uh, all types of amaj vikaras again the milk is contraindicated mainly again the rakta pitta if the rakta pitta is having its origin with the kapha dominancy then also milk is contraindicated in ama garbhastrav again the most common uh, things because when there is either missed abortions or there are mtps or there are uh, multi repeated abortions in a, due to any pathological conditions uh said many of the times what happens or what uh, practice we see in the society that ma kahegi ya saas kahegi ki nahi abhi abortion hua hai to tum weak ho gayi ho to doodh piyo but uh, whenever there is abortion or whenever there is uh, missed abortion or pathological abortion or even in mtp medical termination of pregnancy sutika paricharya should be followed by that woman and in all kinds of abortions and ama garbhastrav milk is contraindicated it should not be given and when i am practicing here um, or, or in jamnagar or previously i was in maharashtra at that time also when i was practicing i saw a common link that when there are multiple abortions and the women are uh, not following the sutika paricharya and after abortions if they are having a heavy intake or more intake of the dugdha milk and mainly the ghee in uh, future after 10 to 15 years uh, mainly we can see the amvat in more uh, cases when we i am treating here i could see that uh, the reasoning or the etiology is uh, somewhere else though today they are suffering from amvat but the pathology is uh, 
happening since so many years and one of the major cause is that uh, that uh, after abortions they are not following the sutika paricharya and they are having more uh, consumption of milk then in amati sar and mainly in the agni man they also that milk is contraindicated so in these conditions if we are using milk by either knowingly or unknowingly we are though milk is a nectar we ourselves are uh, creating it as a poison we are converting it in a poison because we are not uh, doing the critical analysis we are not thinking properly and without thinking we are using the milk so coming to the discussion that classical ayurvedic text uh, though uh, they have described the milk as jivani adravya that means the which is giving which is giving mainly the uh ji life but it is also described as a etiological factor of various diseases such as in kushtha then in prameha in shwas hikka krumi ro urustambha and arsha if they are no, uh, used continuously abruptly and in more quantity if we are using milk then the uh, amrut can become the wish nectar can become the poison and it will uh, again disturb our health again it will disturb our health equilibrium only the persons with samagni can take the cow milk and goat milk uh, as a daily diet or ingredient of their daily diet in the individuals who are having the mandagni the mahisha dugda is always contraindicated though it is beneficial for the tikshnagni per, uh, persons or in the bhasmak rog or atyagni then why uh, we are talking about the consumption of milk certain basic factors we should consider and the first and foremost factor is consumption of milk according to the desh that means the place or the climate or the region where we are staying if we are in the anupadesha uh, that we, which is kapha dominant milk is not so much beneficial to take regularly because it will uh, further increase the kapha dosha in the body in sadharan desh it can be recommended and in jungle desh it may be used as a part of regular diet but again dependent on your agni dependent on the season dependent on the prakriti of that person and here we can go mainly for the cow's milk and goat milk if we talk about uh, consumption of milk according the season or according to the kal uh, or time in uh, seasonal regimen also we can see in some seasons milk is indicated in some seasons milk is contraindicated mainly in the hemant ritu or in the winter season when our uh, we are having a good digestive fire naturally at that time buffalo's milk and cow's milk can be taken as a lukewarm beverage during vasant ritu mainly the spring season uh, we can go for the cow's milk in grishm ritu summer season cow's milk is beneficial but it should be cold uh, cold doesn't means the chilled cow milk but it should be shruta shrita that means once it has been boiled and then it is naturally cooled that milk shruta shrita kshir uh, godugda can be taken in the grishma ritu it can be a good rejuvenating uh, beverage in summer season in hot summer in varsha ritu if we see the uh, curd uh, rainy season that uh, so we are uh, the milk is always the contraindicated then intake of lukewarm cow milk and goat milk is good for uh, mainly in the autumn season or the shishir ritu and uh, most of the milk products along with milk kshira and kshira vikruti they have said to be the beneficial mainly in the hemant ritu or the winter season because our digestive fire is very good and it can digest the guru dravya adults then consumption of milk according to prakriti that is the basic physical constitution of a person mainly uh, the prakriti plays prakriti of an individual plays a major role in consumption of milk when you are having a kapha dominant prakriti or kapha dominant physical constitution then uh, intake of buffalo milk will increase your elements so in case if you are going for milk consumption then you should always opt for the cow's milk uh the kapha prakriti persons and milk is more beneficial as a regular uh, part of diet in mainly the vata and pitta dominant constitution but also in the uh, proper quantity not in too much or not in excessive quantity again the consumption of milk according to the time of its intake uh, when we uh, in the morning time you can uh, 
take milk it will be beneficial mainly for the jivaniya vrusha and the, the all seven dhatu purpose or mainly the rasayan purpose it will act as a nourishing at noon if we take the milk it will act as kapha and pitta hara along with giving you the strength but uh, intake of milk at night is ambiguous because no clear cut mention that uh, only in insomnia it is indicated but other than that uh, mahisha dugda is or the intake of milk at a uh, night time is not indicated in any of the uh, ayurvedic sanhitas and even uh, there is a general rule uh, for intake of milk since uh, so many or thousands of year in, in our culture uh, it is uh, seen that after suryasta or after sunset uh, generally milk or milk products are not taken and the reason behind it may be uh, the circadian rhythm or after sunset because all our body uh, sets our whole uh, cycle as per the sunrise and sunset so mainly uh, may in the charak sanhita chikitsa sthan 15 chapter in grahani dosh chikitsa it has been said that after suryasta all our uh, body channels or mainly the srotasas they are in sankuchita avastha and they are uh, and that's why uh, milk or milk product should not be taken much after the suryasta because they will hamper your natural digestive uh, digestion process again the combination of milk there are uh, certain combinations are prohibited or contraindicated that is mainly the haritakyadi varga that means uh, you should not uh, have milk along with the green leafy vegetables again the with the amla varga dravyas that means uh, the things which are sour the with sour foods you should not Uh, have the milk together uh, acidic foods because we know that they will uh, disturb the milk and the milk will be uh, converted in the curd again with lavana varga that is salty foods uh, also we should not have uh, milk that is when we are taking milk or when we are consuming milk we should also think about all other foods material or the other food ingredients which we are taking along with the milk so Uh, with these three uh, vargas mainly uh, always the milk is contraindicated even we can see in the viruddha ahar or even in the charak viman sthan when uh, nati upinjit dravyas have been um, indicated there they have said that lavan should not be taken with the milk always so coming to the conclusion of my presentation although the milk rejuvenates the body and it is primarily edible drink since childhood its intake should depend on mainly the agni that is our digestive and metabolic status of our body then prakriti our basic constitution physical constitution mainly dependent on the uh, or do, depending on the dominance of the tridoshas then desha that is place of living or the region Uh, where we are consuming the milk then kala that means the season here the nityaka kal as well as the avastik kal that means rutucharya dinacharya that which time of day we are taking the milk in which season we are taking the milk that should be also considered and again the roga avastha that means the disease and also its uh, condition that means whether it is sam whether it is niram or pachaman all those things should be considered in present era dow milk has been modified into various categories uh, like pasteurized milk flavored milk fortified milk and homogeneous milk and it has become the part of our daily beverage in every household uh, without consideration of its pros and cons because when ayurveda is talking about consumption of milk it is talking about only the consumption of milk in its natural away that means uh, boiling of milk is has been indicated uh, in ayurveda but ayurveda is not talking about any these kinds of flavored milk or the pasteurized milk or the fortified milks so uh, we should think we should have more research studies uh, depending uh, depending like uh, on how we are consuming the milk uh, that will come we can may come out with some more conclusion more strong evidences then intake of milk as a part of uh, your daily diet or ahar can be considered as nectar if only it is used properly it and 
on the other hand it may become the poison if it is not uh, used pro appropriately or properly hence the critical analysis of the agni prakruti desh kal and avastha of that particular person should be done before the consumption of milk thank you thank you very much thank you all of you and i am very you, much thankful to the organizers for giving me uh, this opportunity Thank you. It is really a great surprise that you are guru of Parul ji. <laughs> I was searching for another guru who is the guru of, but excellent, great, great experience okay. today. Very nice, very nice, Vagini. Thank you. Sir. Welcome, welcome, Madan sir. Now my Madan flight is taking off, sir. Thank so you. I will be taking Hari Om. Hari Om, Om Parul ji. Safe travel. Uh, very dynamic. Thank you very much. Uh, you. Broadcasting from your flight. Are you? You are flying. You. <laughs> towards Calcutta. Wish you a safe flight. Yes. Thank, you. Uh, Thank you. The future of communication. Itni jaldi, itni patane kaha kaha se dekho. Wonderful. Thank you for uh, bringing everybody. Shibangi ji, your presentation today was almost like a textbook. Ki aapne, you have given us so much information about uh, milk. And what is very clear, Shibangi ji, is that the detail, the amount of information about milk and different kinds of milk and how it is to be used and how one has to be careful, that this knowledge is found in our ancient texts from thousands of years. Number one, point number one. Number two, the point I have put in the chat box is that oh, India no. is the world's largest, largest producer milk producing of, country. of the largest producer of milk. 20% of the world's milk is produced from India. And this is at a time when our animal genetic resources are still not polished enough for higher productivity. So we, we are still, so there is much more to come. Third point I want to say is that being in Jamnagar, you have shown us the importance of uh, the future of Jamnagar. Yeah, as the global center for traditional yes. medicine for the World Health Organization. And you have brought out many points. And I think you are also telling us that a lot of work needs to go to prepare this, uh, to prepare for the future in terms of how we can take knowledge and descriptions and understanding from thousands of years ago, 3000 years or more, and how to prepare it for the future, for, for the uh, ways ahead. I'd also want to add here that the Institute for Postgraduate Studies in Jamnagar has a very, very special role. The Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda has a very, very special role in making this connection between the ancient and the modern and the future. So this is a big task. And if I were asked to make one um, suggestion for where the future is, even as little as one aspect of milk, if we take just this one aspect of milk, you can see how we can generate a whole new body of knowledge that connects the traditional knowledge with where the future is. And perhaps we need uh, many meetings just to outline the future of these studies. What is it that students must do? What is it that undergraduate might do? What is it that we can do? Connect with other institutions, both in Gujarat yes. and other parts of India. I briefly mentioned about the immune system and gene activity and microRNAs. This is a big story that is waiting to be discovered and uncovered. And Ayurveda provides guides, it tells you in your presentation, you're given this. So your presentation today is very precious for all of us because we will revisit this. We will revisit because it will be recorded. It is there, it will be in, in, on the YouTube for anybody to study. We will study this very closely and come back to you with some suggestions about future research projects. Preparing Ayurvedic, using Ayurvedic insights for guiding new and future research about milks. Uh, as we want to continue this program, 
I'm going to stop here, but when we come to our discussion section, I will highlight a few more points about that one aspect of microRNAs that I mentioned briefly, and hopefully also suggesting that our students must start to connect with this contemporary knowledge, you know, particularly because we have taken a global leadership position in Jamnagar to guide the world about traditional medicine. And we, we have this knowledge already with us. So somewhere we can find a way for the future to bring international research projects, more and more of these research projects into the platform that is fast developing. I hear uh, Vaidya Rajesh Kotejaji will be there in Jamnagar leading this activity. And we look forward to having all of you join together to show us and to show the world where to go with such amazing knowledge that is already here. So, uh, Shubangiji, thank you so much for being with yes, us sir, today. It was my pleasure. And we, are, we will study your presentation more closely over the weeks ahead and then come back to you with questions. So, uh, you haven't given us your contact details. I wish we could, our audience okay. would have liked your contact yeah. details. Sure. Please do put this in the chat box. If it was on the slide also, then maybe okay. people watching on YouTube could connect with you directly. So one possibility okay. is if you put your telephone, email address, telephone number on the cover slide, and then we can present it on YouTube for a, for a few seconds after okay. when we come into the discussion section. And finally, <laughs> Shubangiji, I think it is a godsend that uh, Parulji's presentation is following yours because you have introduced the area of yeah. milk and yes. Parulji is a slightly more specialized topic. So it seems like the correct sequence in which it should have happened. And uh, I think uh, Uparwala has decided something that has brought your presentation first and Parulji to take us into the, into the finest details of Best human milk. milk. Yes. So please stay with us. Uh, yeah. uh, please stay with us. I think for those who want uh, Shubangiji's email address, it is Sir, here. I just have put uh, in the first slide only. Just now yes, I did. added it and I have we to can, make it bold in red. We can see this. We can. So yeah. everybody on YouTube can see your email address and they will be yeah. able to contact yeah. with yourself. If you want to put your Telephone number. I know it's a bit of a bit of a problem putting your telephone number. Yeah, that's why I have not put the okay, email is good. mobile People number. I have so, uh, put the email. Thank you. People interested can contact Dr. Shubangi at uh, email address dr shubashri s h u b h a s h r e e at gmail dot com. Shubangi ji, thank you again. Please stay with us. Let us listen to Parul ji. Okay. Thank you. Now, sir, I'm uh, stopping the stopping screen share. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shubha. But please stay with yeah. us because we will yes. come to the discussion section I'm where we will Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ji, once again. Parulji, Pranamji. I know Parulji yes, is Parulji, Pranam. Shall I? I have. Nam, sir, I have Good evening. Namaskar, Ji. I have received your uh, presentation, and when you are ready. I can display. It yes, again. I'm ready, sir. You are ready. Thank you so much. I'm sharing my screen. Tell me if you can see it. And then if you tell me when to move forward, I can move to the next slide. We are very happy that uh, for some reason, Parulji's presentation came comes after uh, Shubangiji's. Shub uh, Parulji, is the presentation clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's quite clear. Thank you so much. Could I, I, I will also, I would have requested the same from you, Parulji, in putting your contact details so that people on YouTube could contact you, but we will discuss this later. The floor is yours. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being so patient. I know you are a busy person, but it, I'm so happy you are here with us because, because we could listen to the wonderful presentation from... Uh, yes, sir. Earliest. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. I heard her after about 10, 11 years. So, so it was my pleasure to hear her. And here you people saying that she's my Guruji. 
it was a pleasure for me sir thank you okay sir let's go parul ji if the if the screen is clear there are no bars appearing on the screen etc then the floor is all yours thank you let's go ahead sir thank you there we are shall i go ahead there we are yes sir is a tendency there we talk about modern aspects first and then talk about ayurved the people have said their breast milk is the best source of nutrition for the first six months of life the same what kashyap has said that for the first six months only mother's milk and nothing else and after completion of six months when the child has started teething you have to add other nutritive Uh, things which are already taken by the family so the parivarik ahar has to be given to the baby but it should be crushed and given is very uh, lay type the baby is supposed to suck that food so this slide goes in accordance with the ayurvedic concept especially the bala tantra kumara prati these are the more important things related with breast feeding and baby health so if the baby does not gain weight it means that baby is either not getting enough milk or not proper milk the swelling reflex of the baby is a sign that ingesting the milk if the baby does not swallow it has to be seen or to be noted that if the baby's weight is gaining then the baby is swallowing very smoothly and so the swallowing reflex is not seen very uh, clearly hard and painful breast of the baby of the mother disturb the baby in drinking or getting latched to the breast latching to the breast is important for the baby to be able to suck next sir next slide sir health experts agree that breast feeding is the healthiest option the healthiest option in the way that if we see in the practice the obstetricians generally with medicines antibiotics and anti inflammatives and pain killers to the just delivered mother they also prescribe a bottle and that bottle the family members bring and they start feeding the baby bottle feeding from and so now the people have understood that bottle feeding is as it is it creates multiple problems to the gi tract and also the emotional status of the baby it has been seen that babies who have breastfed the mother healthily and for the desired time they have a balanced uh, mental status throughout their life certain social circumstances economical circumstances they don't disturb such babies so that breastfeeding which helps mother and baby both and so brings about a emotional bonding between the mother and her baby that emotional bonding is what we indians are lucky to have others in the world do not have such a wonderful bonding and probably because of that we still have a family life we care for our parents our seniors and also care for our juniors because we have been getting that emotional support from our mother which vatsal the mother should be vatsal vatsalam so that type of combination is very much needed and so this breastfeeding is a very healthy option next sir i have given breastfeeding techniques cradle type football hold laid back and lie you can see that in the football hold the baby's legs and the lower part looks fits dangling in the laid back the baby has to suck against gravity so the baby has to apply more pressure 
So if the baby is borderline healthy, the baby will not be able to suck. These are the normal positions told by the modern medicine. Side lying is injurious to both mother and baby. Ayurvedic concept of breastfeeding and milk for the baby. Next. What is Tanya? Stan, this is the uh, uh, dictionary meaning Stri Duktam, milk of human female. Stane Bhavam, produced in the breast. Breasts are called Stanya Ashaya, Stanya Si Ashaya. Rasa Dhato Ho Upadhatu. Rasa Prasado Madhura. It should be sweet in taste. Pakwa hara nimitta jaha. I put pause. Pakwa hara nimitta jaha. It is born from, produced from pakwa hara. The ahar taken by the mother gets registered and it comes out in the form of stanya. So the stanya will contain those properties of the food taken by the mother during her pregnancy and post-pregnancy period. So that is the most important point to be noted. Krishna dehat stanya prapta from the whole body like shukra it comes and gets out from the nipples of the breast. Stanyam iti abhitiyate. It is called stanyam. That is according to Sushra Sahita. Next, sir. Stanya lakshanani swarupa is very much like oja. The oja you call para oja, apara oja. I am talking of only oja. You see, all the points resemble that of Oja. And wherever there is Tanya Dushti, you can see that it leads to Vidahita, it leads to diseases, and it is Asatmya. The baby will suffer from that breast uh, milk. And so that breast milk has not to be given to the baby. Then what to do? Sanya Bhave Ajakshiram. Kokshiram Samaguna Krutam. So whenever the mother is either not present or the mother's milk cannot be given to the baby, we have to opt for Ajadukta. And if Ajadukta is not available, then, then go Grutam, go Dukta, Samaguna Krutam. Samaguna means we have to add water, we have to add sugar, boil it, and then give it. As Madam said that, we never boil milk, whichever milk it is, we never boil it because it loses its consistency. It loses its panchapautikta. And that panchapautikta, the new, that sanskar, agni sanskar, will lead to agniyata in the milk. And that madhura guna and uh, other gunas will be lost. So the pasteurized milk does not contain the Gunas described in the text. Next slide, please. Shira Dushti Chani Avastha. Whenever there is Grahavada to the mother or to the baby, the mother's milk gets vitiated or the mother's milk does not give the effect desired in the baby. And in such a case, we have to treat the disease of the mother, of the baby, or both. And that treatment is always shodhana karma. Without shodhana, sanya dushti will not go. Next slide, sir. The main thing, the development process of sanya shaya is very much needed to have proper amount and quality of sanya. The child up to the age of 10 years, there is no breast there. It's more like male breast. After 10 years, as she becomes Rajaswala, 
uh, secondary sex characters start developing and that development should be normal, healthy and timely. If that development is proper and even in the postpartum time that engorgement takes place properly, then she will be lactating easily and smoothly. She will be able to lactate normally. She will be able to give to Anjali Pramana regularly and her child will be satisfied. If this process is disturbed at any time due to disease or nutritional deficiency or other factors, for example, uh, certain girls fit, um, wear fit brushes and they hinder the development of her breast. So even that factor will disturb it. The process of lactation is called stanyatpati in Ayurveda and there is a whole adhyaya in there. As we have discussed in the previous slides, you can say that the accumulation of stanya in the stanyashaya is manifested by the stimulation of Apatyasneha, seeing, feeling, hearing the voice of her baby and the baby sucking the nipple, feeling the maternal breast, stimulates the lactation. That is, it is manifested. It comes out of the body of the mother. And then it is Shukravat Sampravartati. Here I would like to say one thing that I used to tell my patients suffering from Shira, Alpata, that whenever the baby cries, give the baby to the mother and everyone leave both of them alone. If both of them remain alone, she knows that she doesn't have an option. Then she will start breastfeeding. And that, and that bonding will lead her to lactate properly. I would like to quote one incidence, I probably two patients. Both of them had history of multiple abortions. And according to this uh, Paramparagat Vaidya, such ladies are supposed to having excessive heat in their body. Even after Shodan Karma, that heat did not go. So I thought that may be Grahabada, but they were already pregnant. So what to do? So then, we waited for her to deliver the baby. Both of them delivered a male child. And in both the cases, we asked them to go for Gadarbi Dukta, that is female donkey milk. Now the problem with female donkey milk is we have to collect it before sunrise. So the husbands used to go. At that time, we didn't have Sabarmati river front. So the donkeys used to stay there. And uh, so the husband used to go there and bring the milk and we used to give that milk to the baby. We didn't ask, we, we strongly recommended that the milk should not be put in the refrigerator. So we had to take the baby on other diet as early as possible. But, but we saw that Gadharbi Dukta did help both the babies. The Both the babies are young and one of them is still in my contact. He is a 40 years old male with a teenage son and his wife did not have any abortion. So Gadharbi Dukta did help that baby to remain alive and flourish. That is Vruddhi Vikasa have times uh, timely. Next slide, sir. Siranam Hridayasthanam Vivrutta Tat Prasuti Taha. Ashtang Sangrash Loka it is. Trutiyani Chaturtheva Stanyam Pravartate. Now, if Stanyi is available on third or fourth day, what should we give to the neonate? The most important time of the baby and the baby is uh, not given proper nourishment. Is it true? That is what uh, interpretation people have been doing all these decades. Harith has something, told something different, which is in coincides with the modern science. Prasuta sucha naryashu balena sahasuyate tena sroto vishuddhisyat shiram ashu pravartate. Ashu, 
immediately the lactation starts and that lactation can be called colostrum. But uh, there is another misinterpretation here. Tasma tat pari varjayet. No, it is not to be discarded. That is what has been, is still being done in the rural India. It's not to be pari varjayet. It is to be ishat pari srutam payeto as Sushruta has said. So remove some of the milk, the uh, for, forward milk, and then give the milk to the child. Now, here there is one practical aspect which needs to be told in the mass media that the mother, as it is said here, that prasuta socha narishu balena sahasuyate. She's kranto, she's tired, and immediately you apply the baby to her. She's still not recovered from her labor pains. And you immediately give the baby to her. That is not to be done. According to Ayurveda, the baby is given Jata Matra Paricharya. And during that Jata Matra Paricharya, eight hours are consumed. And during that time, we give Suvarna Prashan, honey, Gograta. So the nutritive factor of the baby is always taken care of. And the Shrama, the Klanta, mother is also taken care of. So immediately applying the baby to the breast is totally not good and should not be practiced. Matureva pibestanyam tat param deha Why maternal milk only? Because the maternal milk has come from maternal ahara rasa, which is also for, cause for her artava, from which the three beach was made and the three beach has created this baby. So the Panchabhautikta of the mother's ahara is consistent with the Panchabhautikta of this baby. So this mother's milk is always beneficial for this baby. But if we go for another, for example, the three, certain uh, ladies think especially in the upper class. Next slide, sir. Upper class ladies think that uh, uh, breastfeeding the baby will um, she change the shape of her uh, breast and she will look, you know, she won't look so beautiful and all that. So they give the baby to be fed by others. So is it to be done? So if it is to be done, if the, for example, we think that the mother has died or the mother is diseased, then then we have to see the lakshan of stana sampat. So, na ati urdhva, the breast should not be ati urdhva. Then what happens? Karalam kuriyat, the baby becomes karal, the face expressions, the whole muscle and the face look very darauna lagta So, urdhva stani karalam kuriyat, na ati lamba. Mukha macha, the, the breasts are long. We will be seeing in the next slides that Mukha macha, the, the face is just blocked by the breast and the baby is not able to suck. So the baby lives uh, feeding. Ati krusha, the lactation is not proper. Ati pinau, difficult to get attached. So what should be? How should the stana be? The stana should be yutta pipi lakau. The nipple should be in the center with the areola and the breast should be heavy uh, spherical. So, sukha prapano, comfortable to get feed. Then, that's a stana sampat, mother, child, face, mouth will be very good to look. And that is what we Indians have. Next slide. Stanya Panavidi, how to breastfeed a baby. Like Aharavidi, Stanya Panavidi is also important for nutrition. Let's see in the next slides. You can see in the first slide, the baby is dangling like uh, we had seen in that slide. In the second picture, we can see that the baby has to be picked up so that the baby is able to breastfeed. The twins, it is called a pra Papa Praja. You can see. All the three are tense. None of them are enjoying. You can see that 
in the middle slide that baby cannot suck properly because the breasts are long. Here you can see that mother is not enjoying feeding her baby because she is a avatsalam. You can see in the last, the mother is lying to was, uh, seek her comfort. So the baby is dangling. The baby is not comfortable. So in such a case, the baby will not be able to breastfeed peacefully and comfortably. And so the baby that breastfeed milk, like for example, ati drutam ahar, fir ati jalpam ahar, hasan ahar sevan. So the same types of looking at horror films and taking food, such type of nutritional uh, feed we will be able to see in the baby. Next slide, sir. Even in this, you can see that the mother is lying and the baby is trying to suck. Here you can see that the breasts are big. So the mukham achadayet, there are two photographs where mukham achadayet, you can see that in one slide, the baby is cuddled in too many clothes. So the baby perspirates well because sucking is also a type of exercise for the baby. The baby gets tired and so many clothes will make the baby perspirate. So the baby, instead of getting rehydrated, will, will tend to get dehydrated. Here the mother is totally open. That should not happen. The baby is open, the mother is open. In the actual photo which I have cropped, the mother is actually taking water bath and she is uh, feeding the mother. It's wrong. Mother should have full concentration in her baby and her feeding. In the last photograph, you can see that, sir, please, sir. Please, sir. Last photograph, you can see that the baby is not feeling comfortable. The baby is reacting to someone standing there. So as in Maithuna, Ekanta Vasa, even in feeding, there should be Ekanta Vasa. Both the mother and the baby should be comfortable. Then and then that breastfeeding gives results. Next, sir. Breastfeeding method, it has been described in Chara, Sushut, Ashtang Sangara also. So Dhatri, should eat swadu bahul ahara, that is madhura praya ahara. If her breast milk is shuddha, we have to make a test whether the milk is shuddha or not. So we put drops of stanya in a glass full of water and see how the milk reacts to it. If it goes down, it is guru. If it fall, fall, forms foam, then it is fenila. It spreads into Rekha, it is Pichila. So these are the negative gunas and such milk should not be given to the baby. So the Dukta should be Shuddha. <coughs> the mother should be Shirasnata Anulipta. As we have a trend in India that we put anulepan, that is either we put pasma or chandana lepa like that. So she should put anulepan. She should wear shukla vastram. So shuk, by shukla, they understand white cloth. But in Gujarat, shukla vastra is not worn by married women. So what we say is shuddha vastra. She should wear drugs, which are of Raja Sthapana Gana. While she is breastfeeding the baby, she should wear, wear Raja Sthapana Gana because during the whole time from conception to the baby getting adult, the baby is prone to multiple infections and wearing this Endri Brahmi drugs is like a type of charm, wearing a charm. And I have seen results of these drugs. Just wearing them gives results. So graha is sukshma jiva, and these sukshma jiva are all about us. 
and they can infect anybody everywhere. They are chidra praharina, according to Swishruth. So wherever they see a weak point in the body or even in the emotional status, they just come and infect us. So wearing these drugs, prajasthapan drugs, helps the baby and the mother both. So certain grahas transmit from the mother to the baby. And as per uh, Ravana Krita Bala Tantra, the certain Balagrahas transmit from baby to mother. And these are all karmaj vyadis also. She should she sit facing the east and the baby should be in her lap. So when there is so many episodes is given, the mother cannot make this uh, asana. So she has to take her baby in her lap and not put padmasana. So these are all dhatri karmas. Stanapana mantra. When I used to teach my students, I used to say that this mantra spoken by the father and she, he gives the baby to his wife and implores her that please feed my baby. There's a wonderful family bonding. I like this mantra very much. Chatwara sagaras tupyam stanayo kshiravahinah bhavantu su bhage nityam balasya bala vruddhaye payo amrutam pitva kumaraste shubhanane dirgam ayuhu avapnotu devaha prashyam amrutam yatha as the gods drank nectar. So, you a beautiful lady, your breast milk will feed my baby and my baby will remain healthy and the baby will flourish. Next slide, sir. Importance of care by an experienced person. There was a Dai Pratha in whole of India, which was abolished and that you can see in the big photograph I put there, there are two old age hands. They are taking care of both the mother and the baby. And you can see that the mother and baby are confused and not able to coordinate. So that coordination has to be made by somebody who knows how to make it. And then that once they are coordinated, you don't need a third person to interfere there. So this bonding, emotional bonding between mother and child has to be put there and has to be taken care of. Then and then the baby will flourish and the mother will not get abscess and engorgement and all such problems. There is a book there, Secrets Mom Should Know. So even in Western countries, they know that the to be mother should know so many things which are not told in the society, not told by the seniors, not told by the experienced people. So these books cannot give the knowledge a practical person can give. So this has to be noted, sir. Next, sir. Dhatri, special stage in a mother's life. Like in Rajaswala, in Pratumati, in... Uh, pregnancy time, during labor, postnatal care, people have to take care of the dhatri, that is the feeding mother. The wet nurse has to be taken special care because as Kashyap says that Hararasa dhatu gets divided into three parts. One goes to the breast to feed the baby. The second goes to her own body and the third goes to her garbashai. So if she is not taken care of, either the mother suffers or she goes into artakshaya or goes into stanakshaya. So all the three positions are going to disturb both the mother and the baby or the future baby because in artakshaya or even if she herself goes into uh, raktakshara, then she will be going to infertility and she will not be able to reconceive. So this is a very special stage, has to be taken care of 
We will talk about it someday other. Next slide, sir. Dhatri Prasamsha. While talking about Dhatri and her Paricharya, the Acharyas have talked that you have to take care of the Dhatri and praise her, saying that you are giving bhoga. You are giving parts from your body to feed a baby and see that the baby grows well. So we bow down to you, hey Dhatri, you are Jagamata. So it's a wonderful sloka. Next slide, sir. Sanya Doshikisa, this Sanskrit font gets disturbed. That's why I try to write in English. Doshanusar and Roganusar. But in both, either dosha or roga, we have to treat both the mata and the shishu. And because the stanya has been taken by the baby, the baby will also develop certain diseases. Next slide, sir. Stanya Shodhana Yoga. This Stanya Shodhana Yoga, like as we say that Rasayan Purve Vaisi Mateva, Vajikar is for both married couples, yani both the mother, uh, wife and the husband. Same way, every lactating mother has to take this Sanya Shodhan Yoga so that if she has vitiated her doshas, either due to her dinacharya, either due to vitiation in the Rutu environment or stress factors or any other factors that Factor will not or should not affect her stanya and her quality and quantity remains maintained. Some points I need to add is should the stanya is associated with mother's diet, jatharagni of her mother, emotional bonding with the baby, and that emotional bonding is dependent upon the baby's father and the father's family, the society at large. So the maternal and baby health is dependent upon the family atmosphere and family cooperation. And only then she will be able to lactate peacefully and give quality milk to her baby. And that baby will grow up into a, the baby of dreams. Next slide, sir. The baby is requesting us, please protect this baby's right to breastfeed his mother. Please don't prescribe feeding bottles. Please don't say that this or this milk is better than mother's milk. If the mother is taken care of during her pregnancy time, during her labor, during post-labor period, then her stanya is not going to get douched is not going to get vitiated. And so her baby is not going to face any problem. So both the children are imploring us that please take care that every baby born and alive gets his or her mother's milk only. For the first six months after the baby starts teething, the baby has to be given supplement diet and that has to be taken care of. So Annaprasana time is from the time the baby starts teething. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all of you. Paruji, thank you so much. And you have gone into so many amazing details. And what I found amazing even more is that all this is presented in our Samhitas and the commentaries that came much later, the detail that you have given and extremely uh, valuable points about the last few slides. So you're talking about Jataragni and the importance of these things and those special mantras that I used. So on behalf of the Research Ethics Society. I want to thank both our speakers for giving us the opportunity to have you on the platform and to 
give us the opportunity to have recordings of both your presentations in our platform. It's an honor to have such high quality presentations on our platform. So I, with those few words, I open the platform for discussions. I will take the liberty of asking Shibangiji to give us a few thoughts on what we have heard from Parulji's presentation, such details. And I, Shibangiji, before I give the floor to yourself, I want to make a comment here. Both of you are from Gujarat. Yes. And I feel just these two presentations puts Gujarat in a special league altogether. It can become a global center for understanding of milk in its widest concept, understanding of milk as appreciated in the Samhitas, understanding of milk in the context of breastfeeding. And there is a special, it seems like you have put together just the two of you in today's presentation. You have highlighted certain points that I feel confident the depth that you have taken and you have highlighted will not be available in anybody in any other part of the world. I may be commenting here beyond what I should, but listening to the two presentations today, I feel you have brought out so many details in such a comprehensive way that it justifies growing this activity a little more in Gujarat. Gujarat already in Anand, we have Amul. And I feel there is enough in the, just the two presentations today from yourself and from Parulji to consider a discussion with people like Amul, people like uh, the, the Anand, the, um, uh, Agriculture University in Anand and other locations, together with the new Global Center for Traditional Medicine, to bring out these special points. And there it is. So these are my early reflections on the depth and quality and the detail offered in the two presentations. There you are. My early assessment, Shubangiji, how do we yes. go? What? Uh. Thank you very much, sir, for the appreciation from uh, my personal side. But uh, what I think is, again, when uh, we are talk, uh, you just talk about Gujarat and all that, as we all know the history that in 1970, the White Revolution came in Anand, where Viscurian brought it. And the uh, main purpose behind that was to get the real value of uh, to the farmers of the milk and the dairy product. And that was really a revelation. And uh, it was just the starting point from where uh, the India become the capital of the milk and dairy products uh, production. But uh, still, uh, as a Ayurveda person or as an Ayurveda scholar, uh, my opinion is that that uh, when we talk about the cow's milk or milk of different animals uh, we should also think about uh, their origin because if we talk matlab agar hum bharat ki baat karte hain to bharat mein uh, go mata ki agayon ki jo prajati aayi ya vamsh bataye wo kuch chh vamsh मतलब आर्य जब बाहर भारत में आए और उसके बाद क्योंकि जो व्हाइट रिवोल्यूशन हुआ उस व्हेन द व्हाइट रिवोल्यूशन हैपन एक्चुअली दे आर द हाइब्रिड काउंस ओके एंड द मेन पर्पस वाज जस्ट फोकस्ड ऑन द प्रोडक्शन मोर प्रोडक्शन quality aspect is not focused इट्स माय पर्सनल ओपिनियन एंड इवन इफ वी थिंक अबाउट द इंडिया मेनली बिकॉज़ Uh, mainly as we are in india and uh, uh, the ayurveda from, uh, from india it originated so if we think that in certain states of india there are their original native <clears throat> cows just like in maharashtra uh, we see it as a desi gai but it is white color okay based on the colors of the cows there are the different six go vamshas Uh, that here, if we talk about Gujarat, here is the Gir Gai. 
the gir gai of gujarat it is the native of gujarat uh, like that and then if we go to the rajasthan then the cow the breed is the it's uh, different so if we are talking about uh, a1 or a2 milk uh, today just like what you uh, text in the comment box or if we talking about the quality of milk or if we are talking about the how just like parul madam very well said that pasteurized milk and all that the real qualities of milk are we getting that is our the question because when we are taking the directly uh, from the farmers when we are purchasing the milk even in gujarat you can see there is lot of new trend has been coming so many persons so many people are now investing in go shalas and real gear uh, breeding and all that and now really the a2 milk is going but it is just going to the only the um, what we can say as the to the cream people because those who are rich who can afford to purchase the a2 milk because rate of a2 milk is near about 150 to 200 per liter depending on the quality depending on the pro, uh, the persons who are producing it and on that go shalas so now again the thing is that though it is available but it is not uh, still in the it is reaching to the ground level or the to the needy people or to the grassroots of the society so if we are thinking about the research on the milk particularly in gujarat or in india again we should think about a real the quality of the milk its production it's the uh, authentic production of the a2 milk and how it will uh, the cost will be low because cost effectiveness is also important thing even if as ayurvedic physician if i am prescribing a2 milk or gheer gai ka doodh le lo i should also think about the income or which which socio economic status the person is belonging and whether for a person who is working on daily wages it is really uh, it is affordable to him or her that's the question uh, it uh, which uh, comes in my mind so i think these all things should be taken care of shubhangi ji your point is point is very important and noted one is native breeds yeah across the country we have for every Different region native we breeds. have native breeds mm-hmm. you have in gujarat you have kangrej you have red sindhi you have yeah. uh, 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 important breeds there you know gir is there yeah. and that is important when we come to the south in the kerala you have vechur which is the dwarfest the smallest dwarfest, breed of smallest. cattle in the yes. world and there are many details that we have learned from these milks vechur milk has a very special ferritin protein it's a iron binding protein and much has been published about this the thing uh shubhangi ji is we have so much so much knowledge from the old texts so much knowledge from contemporary things that i talked about micro rnas and something for the future india is the world's largest milk producer gujarat has an amazing structure that is not spreading across across the country and i think your point is coming through very clearly that there are some gaps and let us make these gaps identify them and press for these gaps to be recognized more and more at this at the at the ground level at the state level and i just want to share here what we have discussed earlier in our discussions about the wellness centers you know that um, we have large number of one and a half lakhs of wellness centers that are being um, one and a half lakh health and wellness centers that are being promoted across the country yes. and we need to make our dialogue the comment you have made shubhangi ji i think and what uh, parul ji has said must become an important part of every one of these wellness centers this is one example that i want to give so i feel that is one important outcome that is coming out of today's discussion that parul ji has presented about breastfeeding and mother's milk and the importance and the fine details that should every mother must know and that must become a part of this ayushman bharat health and wellness centers you know we can make we can make small videos we can have uh, approaches to convey this message to so many different people regarding the biodiversity i want to point everybody to this from the food and agriculture organization the domestic animal diversity information system 
that there are about 8,800 livestock breeds, um, 38 different species. So we have only talked about eight different types of milks in Ayurveda. There may be many, many more things available here. And if you can search this database, you can see the number of breeds that are there in different parts of the world. And that is something that uh, we will be able to engage in, particularly with the strength of Jamnagar, particularly with the strength of Agriculture University in Anand, particularly the strength of the uh, ND, uh, National Dairy Development Board, NDDB, and all those things. How to bring all them into our discussions, into this Ayush framework. And I hope that is something we should be thinking about collectively. You know, as a big group, we must think about this. So thank you again for highlighting that one point about uh, availability. Although India is the world's largest producer of milk, producing 20% or more of the world's milk production, we are still short of milk, is the point. And we have to do so much more. Agniyotriji raised a very important point of how to take the fine detail of Grishta Shira in a therapeutic angle and how to make it beneficial for uh, uh, to bring that perspective about Gomata, we keep talking about Gomata, but we are never able to show the finest details in this thinking about Gomata. Mm. I think Agniyotriji touched on that very point. He'll come back to this as we go into our discussions. Parulji, aap se thoda sunen ji isko hamari jo soch humne jo diya usme kuch hai kam ki cheez, wo jo health wellness centeron ki baare mein. It is so important to take to the wellness centers, what they have highlighted. You are always, you have been with us before, you have given us details. You have given us so many amazing details. Please let us hear from you, Ji. Sir, wellness centers do promote Anganwadi also promotes breastfeeding, but because of the trend that I may be disfigured and my husband may not like me, that trend is not allowing mothers to become mothers. And that has to be taken care through the media only. The media has caused this. The media has to clear it. Sir, whatever we talk, whatever we discuss, whatever we broadcast is not going to reach these ladies because the media is more dominant in their brains. So they will listen to the media only, sir. That I think that must problem. be... Parulji, I think that is a point. Agniyotriji will elaborate. He will reflect on this because we have had media people in our platform, but your point is very well noted. But the way you have Aj, the way you have presented it today, Parulji, is so convincing. There are so many points there, particularly what you are saying, the eye contact between the child and the mother and how it affects neurological development. So important. This is what I have been doing, sir. Mm -hmm. When uh, I was uh, at Akhandanan, and uh, there I had enough time to talk to my patients, and I had enough patients also. At that time, I used to teach the mothers how to feed the baby, and I used to take care that the pregnant mothers understand how to take care of their breasts so that they are able to feed their baby. And also, I used to give them, we had made a pillow like thing so that the mother could cuddle the pillow as if she's carrying the baby and uh, all my students used to do all this sir they prepare that pillow and all that and then we used to uh, show her how to catch the baby and how to breastfeed her and how to clean the breast before feeding and after feeding and how to take care of the lips of the baby and all that we used to teach the baby, uh, mother that if you take care of the baby's lips, the baby will be smart looking and all that. So we had done all that and someone went and told the 10 CM and today's PM that such work is going on in Akhandan. And then, then I was specially invited as task for member to the children's university. And there I had given even more presentations to cream level that was chairman and chief secretary and all that. 
and um, then we made that tapovan kendra and in the tapovan kendra the children's university is already educating the to be mothers the couple who want to have a baby they are teaching all this and is part of their curriculum itself sir we are parul ji we are so happy that you have come to us and we have have we have you here in our platform and you are sharing such important knowledge about the fine aspects of motherhood healthy motherhood and all the details that is in the samhita as you have given us the uh, uh, references to texts before i invite i'm happy to see that professor trg nair is here joining us from somewhere in kerala and professor nair is a very senior uh, computer scientist and information uh, scientist and he was also uh, associated with the national institute for advanced studies in bangalore before i give the floor to uh, uh, dr nair i want uh, parul ji you made reference to one samhita which is uh, ravana something samhita please could you tell our audience a little ravana more about ravana krutha bala tantram अच्छा जी इसके बारे में थोड़ा और बताना जी इसके बारे में ये जो इट्स अवेलेबल इट इज अवेलेबल आई डोंट नो इफ यू आर एबल टू पुट दिस ऑन द चैट बॉक्स नो सर देयर आर सो मेनी पेजेस देयर आर मेनी पेजेस सर अच्छा दिस इज वंडरफुल ही इज ही सेज इन द एंड लंकाधिपत लंकाधिपति रावण कृतम एंड ही हैज गिवन सच पॉइंट्स which are not even available in kashyap sanhita balatantra it's a wonderful book sir parul ji ek kitab ke naam ek if i can request you to put it on the chat box or somebody in the floor who knows about this book just to put in the chat box so that we can revisit this very very important text ravana's knowledge about plants and health was considered extremely extremely valuable he was a master of um the uh, treatment with single aushadis you know it is said that he could he understood 4044 diseases and there were he also understood single herbs that could be used for treating this 4444 diseases of humans and animals and plants etc so thank you very much for sharing that and uh, very very happy that we could bring this out in 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 the discussions here i invite professor nair to uh, uh, share a few words uh, professor nair was till of, till yesterday he was here in in the uk he is flown back to india uh, professor nair namaskaram if you are able to hear us and share a few words thank you so much for joining us today if uh, professor nair is not able to join us immediately to just to save time i request doma ji our senior uh, vaidya doma ji namaskar we deeply appreciate a few thoughts from your side doma ji namaskar <laughs> मेरा नाम प्रणाम सबके लिए एम आई आडी वी कैन हियर यू क्लियरली नमस्कार जी गोमा जी आई रेज्ड वन पॉइंट हियर दैट देयर इज एन ऑपर्चुनिटी टू टेक दिस काइंड ऑफ विजडम दैट वी हैव हर्ड टुडे एंड मेक इट एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ दैट वेलनेस सेंटर द नेटवर्क ऑफ वन एंड अ हाफ लाख्स ऑफ वेलनेस सेंटर्स दैट आर कमिंग अंडर आयुष्मान भारत this kind of knowledge must be made available for everybody of course the knowledge is one part and also the related activities whether it is whether it is aushadis or whether it is knowledge about how to produce more from the land in terms of sustainable agriculture for the future these are all interconnected and parul ji has shown us very clearly how these interconnections are are, are coming together not only with the panjabautik thinking about dravyas but also the more subtle connections between the mother and the child 
సర్టన్లీ మాధవ్జీ సర్టన్లీ పర్ఫెక్ట్లీ ఇట్ క్యాన్ బి డన్ విత్ ది ఇనిషియేటివ్ ఆఫ్ ది రూలింగ్ అండ్ మోస్ట్లీ ది పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ వైట్ నాట్ అక్వైంటెడ్ విత్ ది సంహితాస్ బట్ సమ్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ దే ఆర్ ఏజ్ ఓల్డ్ even we are thinking today how much has been given by our rishis in ancient times what was the culture of this land of bharat is abundantly and can overcome all the superstitious or in the te- in the pretext of scientific approach of today's can be under uh, thinking we can think that it is less knowledgeable for the science which are in the good olden days only now the modern science is going to search what was there but already it was there but not in, in interpretation this is the peculiarity with the land of bharat and its culture at any new kind karma and at the same time today is also the subject which actually most of the modern generation i was even for today um, the uh, that means the gender ratio is concerned much have been suppressed in the minds of the ladies to become mother for their healthy lifetime almost all we think that even that is before putting forth the second opinion i tell that if a newborn baby is there my gurudeva says that hey paramatman hey brahman you are in the shape of my baby you are in the shape of you have entered in the society in this uh, um, shape we are to feed this is also the highest thinking and at the same time one the mother should also feed the baby in the same perspective with same ideation and same thought this brings a healthy thinking and healthy society where prakriti also uh, cooperates because it is controlled by paramatma brahma that is why certainly we cannot observe these things with our naked eye what goes on in the um, universe unless until it is perceived by higher uh, austerity and uh, then only we can come to understanding likely so many things are there but uh, now uh, i think that the age is something advancing to find out the bharat's culture is super most thank you very much thank you dhamaji thank you so much you are touching those important points that were understood by the ancient minds and somehow there is a break in this parampara and we need to reconnect with that somewhere and i feel that reconnection between the ancient and the contemporary has to be done in a way that provides a um, perspective from the biology the deep aspects of biology for instance there is a lot of talk now about the united nations sustainable development goals for instance that there is a deep biology there the micro rnas that i uh, that i talked about if i take the liberty of sh- just sharing my screen again because these are very very uh, very valuable areas where we can bring new dialogue that will um bring new dialogue that will draw in the young minds you know young young minds find it very difficult to connect with this and they don't understand uh what is the reason why should we read the samhitas somehow we have to show them that the samhitas is a rich source of contemporary 
uh, which is of contemporary relevance. And it becomes our duty, learned people like Parulji, it becomes a duty for us to highlight some of those small points and to show the connection between the ancient, the very ancient texts. Parulji has given us the information today about Ravana Kruta uh, Balatantram. Now, I don't know how many people know about this text. It needs to become a part of our, you know, uh, postgraduate studies, undergraduate studies. So there are many areas where I feel we can make this happen and make the connection between the ancient and the modern. I would like to hear if I'm permitted from Jayesh Thakarji, Jayesh Ji Namaskar, some reflections on today's very, very valuable presentations from Parulji and Shubhangiji. JHG Namaskar. If JHG is not there, I'm just going to try once again if Professor Nair would like to share some thoughts. Professor Nair, could you unmute? We are fast approaching. It is 8.35 in India. We are coming up to our uh, wind down time, our cutoff time. And we still have a little more time to kind of draw this event to a close. If there are any comments from the floor, then please let us um, uh, uh, listen to either Parulji or um, Shibangiji, if you would like to add some more to our to what we are discussing today, uh, please feel free to add. Shibangiji, Namaskar. If you would like to add some more on how we can take the content shared in today's uh, webinar and can kind of draw it into some action points, some. Uh, some conclusions that we could have from this wonderful uh, presentation, the two presentations and the discussions, then we will be grateful. Domaji has highlighted a few points. If we could hear some more from Shivangiji, yeah. Namaskar. Yes, Namaskar, sir. Uh, just uh, my personal opinion is that, that if we want to take this knowledge of today's webinar forward, we should uh, um, identify certain levels that at which level, how we can take this knowledge forward, just like at academic level, what we could do at the level of research, what we could do and at the level of the society, that is the uh, ground level. That is because all these things, whatever we are learning, teaching the Ayurveda or whatever uh, we are doing research for, it is all things uh, end with the single outcome. That is what we give better to the society. Because for betterment of the society, we are doing all these things. Even the uh, why Ayurveda evolved, Ayurveda, Ayurveda, ki jab uh, par, uh, matlab, us samay ki agar hum baat kare, to us vak jab rog badhe aur un rogon ka solution dhunne ke liye jo hai, wo Ayurveda ka utaran hua. Aur jo bhi swarg se kahe, prithvi par aaya, whatever it may be. Uh, some say that it's the mythology and all these things but the, at the end of the day uh, we cannot deny the truth that all these things we do for the betterment of the society so at the end a point we should think this topic at these certain levels that when i mean at the level of the academics uh, when we are teaching our students or when we are teaching to the ayurveda scholars or even to the foreigner scholars about the milk and all those things, then uh, we should have the clear cut demarcation that how they should be used and how they should not be used, even if it is uh, told as the Ajan Mesatme and it is compatible to all. So, uh, that level we should do the critical analysis. At the level of the research, if I, uh, I think that uh, we should come together, that is today's era is the era of the collaboration. So the Ayurveda science or the Ayurveda fraternity, the contemporary science like uh, modern medicine, allopathy, along with that, we need the uh, mainly the um, producers, the dairy producers. Uh, so many organizations, uh, they are uh, 
uh, now entered in this business of dairy and all that so uh, we should uh, come together the all the dairy business people and all the pharma or uh, farmer organizations and the dairy organizations and then we should think about how uh, we can uh, breed the nat- native breeds of the cows and all the animals which are really useful for the betterment of the society even uh, when we uh, say that uh, along with cow dugdha or the go dugdha aja dugdha is also useful so for breeding of the proper ajas or the for goats that is also one kind of uh, dairy business that should be also taken care of when government is uh, talking and thinking about and focusing on uh, about the go palan and all those things at the same time we should also focus on the aja dugdha or uh, or the ajas that means the goats and all those Th- that business should be also come forward as a dairy business so that more uh, ajadug they will be available to the society these are my certain uh, view points sir thank, thank you thank you shubhangi ji thank you so much i'm happy that you have shared this with us because as i said all of this is being recorded we can listen to this your point is very very important and well noted i for uh, doma ji's sake i want to add here that there is a big initiative now in telangana where we are looking at forming these village clusters and with a view to promoting uh, green sustainable systems of production and that is something that's happening in telangana as we speak uh, uh, we ha- we are also developing networks across the states of haryana gujarat is already well advanced with cow hotels and all these things this is in the cow cow uh, milk production area the aspect you have shared shubhangi of goat milk and goat milk production this is a very very important point and i don't think we are organized yet in india to yes. realize the potential of uh, the different types of milks so th- all of this is being considered i wish uh, we had with us today um why uh, the shrinivas rao surabi uh, who is running a big initiative running out of national institute of technology in kurukshetra and it's the gogram gurukul concept that is running uh, and many things are now being put together and the whole uh, program is going is running out of the uh, the national institute of technology in kurukshetra and you will listen you will hear more about this in the days to come so we are following this space we are listening to all the comments that are coming from all the speakers and before i return the platform back to pavan ji is not here to agnihotri ji uh, before i return the platform i just want to take a final word if i can from parul ji parul ji namaskar aapki taraf se we just want some final words ki जो वेलनेस सेंटर आयुष्मान भारत की तरफ अगर सोच लगाए थोड़ा व्हाट एल्स कैन वी डू टू स्ट्रेंथन द शेयरिंग ऑफ दिस नॉलेज एंड हाउ टू फाइट दैट अनवांटेड अनहेल्थी इनिशिएटिव्स दैट कम फ्रॉम द नेशनल प्रेस एंड द प्रेस हाउ टू चेंज ऑल ऑफ दोस थिंग्स वी नीड अ स्ट्रेटजी दैट and uh, it will be lovely to just hear a few words from you parul ji before we try and draw this event to a close sir i have been a writer since my age of 17 years and i used to write in five papers at a time and what i noticed all these years is means it's more than 45 years i've been writing i've seen that people read the articles and then forget it mm-hmm. so they don't read it seriously but what's happening already through the government of gujarat and government of india is concrete sir in the wellness centers which you are mentioning and in the anganwadis which i am mentioning there is a solid work going on sir they are educating the women that please breastfeed your baby and if you don't breastfeed i will not go from here start breastfeeding mm-hmm. and then she suddenly goes and sees that uh, the mother is uh, bottle feeding or breast feeding and uh, searches in the house whether there is a bottle there or not so these uh, ayas uh, are doing their best but one thing which i wish to highlight is 
that per one human being, there need to be three domestic mammals in any form. They may be goat, they may be sheep, they may be cow, they may be buffalo, but three animals are needed. And only when we achieve that ratio, one is to three, we will be able to fight this problem. Second thing is, there are numerous drugs, the shamani as they call in charak and gana as they call in sushrata and in the medial um, text, it has been mentioned that the drugs acting on stanya are threefold. They manufacture, they decide the quality and they see that the nectar just flows. So this stanya vruddhikar Stanya Srutikar and Stanya uh, Shodak. There are three Ganas talked by Charak and they need to be highlighted. That not talking about these drugs, herbs, is also a uh, harm which we are doing. So for example, every mother takes Ashwagandha and Shatavari. If the baby is female, she is not supposed to take Ashwagandha. She is supposed to take Shatavari. Mm -hmm. The mother who is having enough milk does not need to take either Shatavari or even Jivanti. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, she takes the drug uh, from Alarsin, Leptadin. And then because of that Leptadin drug and that emotional stress, the Sanyakshaya happens. So then they come to us and say that I took Leptadin 6-6 six, six tablets four times a day with warm water and yet I didn't get these uh, results. So what is the cause? We have to tell her that stop thinking on all this. Stop taking any medicine. Drink lots of fluid in any form, either water, simple water, if she can afford, if she can't afford this. But there is a rava kalpana, that is a, this uh, super kalpana is actually Ayurvedic kalpana. Yusha kalpana, these kalpanas are supposed to help rehydrate the mother because she needs plenty of fluid to manufacture stanyam. So if we can do all this, it's going to help to be mothers too much. So we are talking about future generations. And if this keeps, this vibes keep on going, we are surely going to help the future generations, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Paralji. We are, once again, I repeat what I said, we are so fortunate you are here with us today sharing your experiences, sharing your thoughts, sharing your wisdom with us today. And we are very, very grateful that you have stayed till the end of the program. You have shared so much today, and we look forward to your guidance, both yourself and uh, everybody connected with this uh, platform, Shibagiji, uh, both of you today, and uh, the growing number of senior people who are joining this platform to strengthen and to provide new and important perspectives for the future. So from my side, thanks to uh, both of you, Parulji, Shubangiji, thank you so much for coming to this platform today. Uh, very important day. We have touched on many, many things. There are many, many other points that we could have discussed, but I think we have caught today certain points that, uh, as Shubangiji says, they must be practical. They must benefit people. And I think we have brought our discussion down to that level where we see um, how to turn what was there in the Samhitas, what is there in present knowledge into something that will benefit people for people's health, people's skills, people's employment, and people's well-being for the future. So thanks again. I started off today's webinar uh, and conference with micro RNAs in milk. I gave the example of um, uh, Mahakalyana Gridham that comes from the Udmada uh, Chikitsa Dihaya of uh, Charka Samhita. And I want to reconnect with that uh, one point, G. And I want to take you to a way in which we might be able to reestablish that connection between the best of contemporary science and the best of knowledge in the Samhitas and how to make our young people uh, wake up to the benefits of um, the, the benefits of 
the ancient knowledge and how to make it uh, contemporary. What is the reason? Why do we have to go into looking at these ancient texts? I finish off with just one quick reference here. And this is a reference that I hope will bring together all that we touched on today, including the different types of milk. If my screen is visible, you will be able to see this uh, on the screen. It is a paper that comes from, uh, uh, it's a paper that comes from Italy. And it's about all the milks, some of the milks that we talked about, cow, donkey, goat milk. And it talks about anti-inflammatory properties, immunomodulatory properties. And I've highlighted here the most represented small RNAs and the functions they perform and what donkey milk does, what goat milk does in epigenetic modification and DNA maintenance. These are all very, very important areas of biology. And within our knowledge system, within our samitas, all of this is presented, but using a different language. I feel our challenge is to make this connection between the very ancient and the very modern. The people in Italy, as in that paper there, they have done a lot of work to do, to, I, do the, the research work. I've mentioned Japan. They have done a lot of research work in that space. But they are at, a, they are at an advantage because they have the technology. They can work on these things. But they are also at a disadvantage because they don't have that body of uh, knowledge that we have touched on today and what is in the samitas there is much much more in the samitas and i hope discussions like this will bring all of those points out and hopefully make those connections between what is going to happen in jamnagar what is needed in many of our ayurveda colleges across the country for future generation the students to connect with the connect the ancient knowledge with knowledgeable people like Parulji and Shubhangiji and take this forward as major research projects with for the future in terms of large institutions like what is coming up in Jamnagar, also in terms of agriculture production, India's strength being the largest milk producer in the world and to show that there are ways in which we can establish um, uh, new messages for the future. So with those words, I want to thank our speakers for the most excellent presentation. Both of all the presentations are archived in our website, so you can visit them anytime, you can view them. I will certainly be pointing both these presentations today, Parulji, Shibangiji, to so many people around the world who will be inspired listening to this and will want to come back for more. With those few words, Namaskar to both our speakers. Madanji, Madanji. Domaji, Doma please. Oh. For a while, if you, if you would permit me. Please. To put the thing which you have brought about the RNA, the paper published in Japan, today, <laughs> it becomes a wonderful coordination of you because your mind is totally for research orientation. That is why you could connect Japan to Indian, <laughs> Indian scientists. You are interested in science. I are interested in science of modern medicine, uh, uh, modern science, and at the same time you could connect. At the same perspective, I am giving a little information. Please. When a boy, when a boy uh, from Japan asks my Gurudeva in Geneva airport, where the president of Switzerland was present, that Baba, you have taken, you have announced that, you have declared that the. Uh, universal language will be Sanskrit. And for the day of Linga Franca, you have accepted English. And how Japan language is uh, then reflected or coincides with the Sanskrit, correlates with Sanskrit. Then my Gurudeva reminded a paragraph out of Constitution of Japan to the Adharvana Veda. One sloka with the reference of a sloka in Adharvana Veda. These two means the same. Likely, when the people around the world come to know that the Sanskrit is the richest language and we have to 
we have to accept it then they will give their attention towards the richest i don't say with my only uh, uh, intention or interpretation or my gurudev's imposition it is it is not like that he himself declared there is no such language which constitutes more than 6 lakh syllables in its strength whether roman and greek all runs in between 4 to 5 lakhs and above 5 lakhs that is why this should also be accepted and for the day of imbalance what i am giving about the culture of india see the vahana the vehicle of that means shiva is bull and gomata is always respected in the indian culture bharat sampradaya parampara but whereas today bulls are missing and the banks cement banks are uh, putting up it becomes unnatural even to the uh, survival of uh, uh, that means nature prakriti he, at this juncture also on one occasion you were citing about that uh, the um, terminologies should i say madan ji nature is not the right interpretation of prakriti my gurudeva he explained nature is the style of prakriti but there is no equivalent word synonym in english literature for prakriti prakriti is something far beyond of nature nature is the style of prakriti expression of that is why never say that prakriti is nature one and the same the terminology are different there is no so many words are there such uh, in other literature we cannot find we, we are quite acquainted with our own culture and you are also well noticing and though you might have put up and born in outside of india but you are always striving for indian culture and uh, sampradayika parampara thank you very much madan ji it is not audible to me Samaji, you you bring out very very important points, and uh, thank you for highlighting this issue about Japan. Japan is already funding uh, uh, projects for revival of our native breeds in Rajasthan. There is a lot of work already going on. I also want to add here that Bill Gates has been uh, funding some activity for the revival of uh, uh, genetic richness. in india and that this is all news that is there for anybody to uh, anybody to study and put both of those things on the on the chat box so uh, this is the, if i could maybe the quick way is to just share the screen so that you can see it and i'll also put this in the chat box i share the screen because there will be many people who are not able to uh, see what we are putting in the chat box so this is a news item from uh, 2018 bill gates is funding genetic research in the perfect cow but things have moved on since uh, there are some some things that are going on but the challenge for us is to guide the narrative so that the narrative uh, goes in in a direction that is valuable for what we the way we understand nature prakriti as you say has to be understood our way might be different from uh, which might be different from how it is presented in other places so it is coming up to 9 o'clock 2 minutes to 9 o'clock in hindustan i wish to pass the floor to professor agnyotri ji uh, for his concluding remarks agnyotri ji pranam ji thank you thank you professor madan sir ji uh, pranam namaskar uh, well uh, it is a great uh, experience today uh, hearing all the so good in, in inputs and informations well i start with uh, starting with the, the regards and respect to all our seniors those who have been there in our platform on today's webinar when we were celebrating our uh, world uh, milk day uh, professor madan thangaru ji dr harish verma ji dr arul joshi ji and dr shambhangi ji those those two are our guest speakers 
along with uh, Dr. Parikshit Devnath Ji, Dr. Ved Jayesh Thakkar Ji, uh, Dr. Jagdisha Doma Ji, Dr. Rampal Somani Ji, uh, and Dr. Preeti Banerji Ji. So this uh, webinar was started with an uh, um, introduction to the subject, uh, uh, very wisely and very deep knowledge oriented uh, by Professor Mandan Thangvaluji. He, he referred to uh, Charak Sangeeta, Chapter 9 uh, of Chikitsa Istan, uh, Unma Chikitsa, where uh, the indication of uh, our Mahakalyan Girtam is uh, uh, mentioned. And in the preparation of Mahakalyan Girtam, the Krishna Shir is used. So the un unusual and uniqueness of that Shristi Shir is uh, well underlined by Professor Madan Sarji. And he uh, also informed with the help of, uh, with the reference of uh, his respected Guruji, uh, Professor Vishnu Yoglikaji, that uh, how it is uh, important and how it is there. And he searched out, out of his scientific brain that uh, a special component like uh, uh, this, uh, our uh, micro -RNA, RNA is one factor which is there in that uh, special quality of uh, milk, uh, which has been given or which has been produced or which has been taken from the first para cow. So this is the rarest of the rare thing. And I think uh, uh, that's why his agony is there. He is very much uh, worried that uh, what will be the status of uh, Ayurveda in coming 22nd and 23rd century? Or could it be digital? And with the letters and spirit, which is there in the each and every line and every version of our Ayurvedic text, because he told that uh, that every word should be respected and every word should be deeply analyzed. And uh, then only the case of milk having so many secrets will be revealed. So this was uh, his uh, introductory introduction of today's webinar. Now I come to the our um, great uh, speakers who spared her very important very valuable time to enlighten us. And what I say that today's uh, uh, speakers, uh, I am fortunate enough that I think they both are there, that uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Swangi ji and uh, Dr. Professor uh, Parul Joshi ji, these two were the backbone of today's seminar. And especially I would like to say two points which I experienced in my life today, that one is the gesture of greatness of the great persons. Bado ka balapan dekha hai humne aaj, kaise chote ne bade ko, aur bade ne chote ko, itna gehre se samman diya ki meri to aaj dhan ne ho gai. Webinar, I can only say, mujhe Kalidash ka reference yaad a gaya, jahan pas Vartan Turish ke assist aur Kots ki beech mein charcha hui thi, कि जनस से साकेत निवास नस्तो दावत पे भूताम अविदंद सत्तो ग्रुप पे देर अधिक स्नार्थी नपुर्ति कामात अधिक पदस्य ऐसी इसी विडंबनाएं हमें देखने मिलती हैं सब लोग अपने हिसाब से देखते और सुनते हैं और हम अपने हिसाब से देखते सुनते हैं और मैंने दूसरी जो चीज सुनी आज देखी मैडम पारुल and I, for the first time, surprised to see that Professor Madan Thangvaluji took a few minutes to take out from his magic box the appropriate words for her presentation. And I got it. That is, her presentation was the divine presentation. With each and every word, such a crystal clear, with complete knowledge oriented, I am still wishing that if that goddess, uh, just gave a darshan to us, we will be really privileged and obliged. So he, he she put her um, say video off throughout the time, and really uh, I, I am surprised that uh, as she were she was medical officer before doing MD, how much she was doing so, and after this, how much uh, her students are benefited with each and every word. Two different presentations were there, and these two ladies really touch the different, different areas. I again come to our uh, 
Shuangi's presentation first. She narrated also the each and every milk available or mentioned in our text with the qualities and actions with them. And uh, we are not touching the treatment part because a very good information which can just add on that uh, uh, it is there in the Hikkaf Chikisa, the Mat Dugda Nasya is of great importance. Mat Dugda Jo Istan hai, uske do do un instil karte hai Nasa Mark se, to Hikkaf ke jo chen hai, wo break hoti hai, aur ek dam se hichki aana band ho jati hai. So treatment part shayad utna nahi liya gaya, lekin wahan par hai special peculiarity hai hamari Mat Dugda ki, aur wo hume kai baar dekhna padta hai, kisi ke lap mein bachcha hai, मतलब जो लैक्टेटिंग मदर है उनसे हमें उनका ये रिक्वेस्ट करनी होती है और रियल और स्पेशली ये मैंने अपने फादर इन लॉ केस में किया था ही वाज रनिंग विद 80s एंड ही वाज हैविंग अ लेग दिस फीवर फ्रैक्चर एंड आउट ऑफ सम मॉडर्न मेडिसिन देयर वाज ऑलवेज एसिडिटी एंड फ्लैचुलेंस एंड हिकफ डेवलप्ड एंड माय द सेकंड से ब्रदर इन लॉज वाइफ वाज Having a child in her lap, so I requested her that can you provide me a one or half teaspoonful of milk? She very willingly became ready, and I got this miracle. The whole of my family members there in my in-laws family, they really reacted like anything. That none of the even this mayur puch bhas no even ilaichi everything ark nothing was doing, and miraculously it happened. So I am not controlling myself to. Not to mention this thing, I am here to mention this thing. This is one of the greatest uh, boon and virtue which is uh, attached with our matru um, dug. Uh, but uh, she narrated so many things. But one slight query became in my mind when she was presenting it, that the, as the goat milk she was selling that it is lagu astringent and again uh, istambak uh, uh, quality uh, added with the istambak quality. And uh, she also indicated you know, in, in the treatment of jalodhar. So what I was taught that in case of jalodhar we used to give sometimes of this chavidiras or some uh, elastic priority to take out the water along. So there is always a need of the virichan karma so that uh, there should be a um, the comfort uh, made available out of the abdominal discomfort. So that that I just uh, put in that thing. Otherwise, goat milk's qualities are, which are which she mentioned is always there. So overall, what she was to, talking about that sir pranam pranatam satyam. This is very important as for the case B. It may be uh, any part of India or any part of world. As for the cows are available, so cows milk should not be given before the. Achieving of six months age of the newborn. This is underlined point. I got it, and it should be there. So many persons are there who they say that even if you once give just taste of honey simply for the as a sanskar karma, okay. Otherwise, you need not to go in the uh, feeding of uh, giving water by any feeder or bottle. Always go for the feeding. And our uh, uh, other information which she put forward. Really, these are the ladies who can do this, who can inform us. Otherwise, we were as a student or as a research scholar only can consult the textual part from uh, Wikipedia, from Google, or anything. When, when, but when it comes through the mouth of our uh, so learned ladies, those who are involved in our uh, academia, really it was uh, full of knowledge. So uh, all the quotations and all the subjective matter which she put forward is really. Uh, fantastic, and she also informed regarding the contraindications of milk also. This is also important. And when we talk about our next presentation by uh, Dr. Farul Joshi, really uh, that was entirely different because she uh, paid full attention over the best feeding or or the um, demerits of feeding, and she supported with all the so many so many good slides which we never think of. So it is only. Uh, used in the case of the academic interest, and but she she is uh, being a uh, mother, she is being a lady. She touched all the sensitive points, especially how to hold the baby, how to uh, feed, and after feeding, the burping is very important. And also one maintenance point is there that uh, uh, the health of areola, the health of nipple, the health of the whole breast is also of great importance. Usually the lips are being uh, sh shaded with the blue color. So the, for removal, it's uh, the uh, say small cotton wool 
dipped in the lukewarm water maybe just uh, uh, rinse the uh, lips of the newborn uh, after feeding so it that the bleachness will be removed uh, this is also in effect then we used to say to the patient those who are coming to my um, uh, missus also because she is also a doctor so in that way uh, we are uh, almost in touch of that and as she was talking about the lap lap pillow lap pillow is at now in fashion every every uh, new uh, generation um uh, new mothers are holding this thing and they say that it is most comfortable for them also and for the baby also they they may be they, this may be one alternative but that may not replace the basic lap or basic style of uh, feeding so she pointed out each and everything and the one important thing which i um, uh, means uh, appreciated like anything it is uh, very touching that it is the father who is supposed to recite the mantra uh, worship worshiping god that uh, you please uh, my wife you please uh, feed uh, our kid so that he may be strengthened and uh, it will be your uh, contribution and for that you have to take very rich diet the right which is indicated instead of leptar and all that those who are having the chira chai but uh, proper diet is uh, which is uh, uh, the res- uh, uh, original source for uh, uh, lactation so that is very very important and she repeatedly talked about that that one and again show lastly on last slide she also very uh, emotionally talked that uh, never prescribe any uh, parents having the newborn the feeders is is respect of the boni and other companies we are not uh, having any problem with them our idea is that that uh, the, the right of uh, newborn is be protected at least for 6 months and you see uh, the other questions which uh, uh, professor informed and uh, other sectors which he, he put forward is different and for that i will say something but uh, uh, the right of kid up to uh, our text says that chirat up to 6 months chirat then chir annat then uh, chir is prominent and supportive of some cereals like that and for this uh, everybody is knowing and i am just making a repetition that uh, on every year right from 1st august to 7 august we celebrate the uh, uh, breast feeding week istanne pan saptah we are always celebrating for last 20 years or so and we used to go to even akashwani our talk is always delivered simply because they call me that you can better uh, in the in the understanding language of the uh, local population we used to go for that and all the anganwadi centers everybody they are doing and for that i that how the this um, our uh, uh, wellness centers and anganwadi centers and other our uh, female hospitals how can they share this necessity uh, to the uh, um, would be mothers doing the nnc period or after delivery so for that we have got at least three components asha workers anganwadi karkarti anganwadi sahika and the Uh, this uh, anms these are all generally these are all females uh, sometimes having uh, kids sometimes uh, would be mothers so they can be taught uh, properly with all the merits of the uh, 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 pr- promoting this uh, best feeding irrespective of the disfiguration or liking disliking this is nonsense at the same time the thought of mahila sashaktikaran or or uh, liberty of females comes forward lady should be strong enough to say no though it's our kid but our you have you have become a sadhan to have this baby to me but i delivered so i have got rather more rights and responsibility to feed and this is my uh, decision this is my pleasure and this is my commitment and this is my duty to feed doctors are there yoga experts are there trainers are there to make you refer no problem but uh, don't be scared regarding the liking and disliking of the husband or the society or the kitty party ladies or any subset where you join in the society the fact is this is a part of your body it it is completely depending upon you and your ahar so you go for good ahar feed them properly and then uh, this you are not only feeding you are giving the emotions you are giving the uh, the mamata 
you are giving all the enzymes you are giving all the hormones which are needed and which is ultimately building the immunity of the newborn so this is not a simple thing we have done and talked last for 20 years regarding the uh, stanipan stanipan saptah just coming after one uh, two months june and july so uh, our lady doctors are well enough to understand these things i repeatedly uh, appreciate them for their contribution and anganwadi asha workers anganwadi sahayika our anms these are the really components of society in our tools to put forward and uh, carry the message which are supposed to be given at least in our indian parampara indian culture hamare bharatiya sanskaron mein videshi log ki copy karte karte hum log apne parivar ke apne progeny ko kamzor banaye ye kahin se bhi nayavichit nahi hai hamari mataen hamari behne hamari betiyan is cheez ko bahut acche se samjhengi ki agar humne paida bachcha paida karne ka decision liya hai to usse pehle ye nirnay bhi le le ki hame isko feed bhi karana hai और फीड फीडिंग के लिए कोई लैक्टेशन में कोई प्रॉब्लम है उसके लिए जरूर आप मेरी लेडी डॉक्टर का सहयोग लें ट्रीटमेंट लें एक्सरसाइज करें अच्छा इनपुट लें शदावरी या जो भी कुछ है सो विद दीज वर्ड्स आई अगेन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट एंड ग्रीट ऑल ओवर बोथ ग्रेट स्पीकर्स और इट इज इट वॉज अ डिवाइन एड्रेस डिवाइन प्रेजेंटेशन एंड आई एम सो थैंकफुल आवर वेबिनार प्लेटफॉर्म आवर होल ऑफ द सोसाइटी इज रियली इंडेटेड फॉर दियर support thank you so much thank you over to my professor vandan sir nyotri ji thank you so much i you deeply appreciate that one expression you have used for parul ji's presentation it was a divine presentation parul ji we are deeply appreciative of what you have shared with us today and i have put a comment here saying creating a new set of relations between human beings life and the earth doma ji's comment about uh, prakriti we cannot explain we cannot put this in when we translate we will lose the meaning and therefore there are times when i feel keep the sanskrit word let us start to give the world the richness of this language and how it is derived i hope ramadas ji was here with us today he would have shared a little more thoughts on some of these very special words uh, so with those few words i thank everybody i also see that dr um, cp can live there ha ah, professor namaskar ji sharma ji namaskar if uh, professor Sh- dr sharma ji would like aap to unmute kariye uh, sir sir aap mu- unmute kariye professor uh, cp sharma sir aapka mic off hai ha ji ab namaskar ji thank you so much bahut bahut dhanyawad ji ab fir ho gaya ji mute fir fir mute ho gaya fir mute ho gaya so mike sharma ji pranam namaskar ji aapka thoda there is parul ji thank you so much we uh, uh, thank you for being with us so late and uh, we will connect again i'm sure pavan ji will connect with yourself again while we wait for a few words from sharma ji sharma ji namaskar aapka म्यूट अन म्यूट पता नहीं उस बटन में थोड़ा सा यू आर हैविंग सम डिफिकल्टी बट वी वुड लाइक अ फ्यू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम यू जी हाँ आ गया जी हेलो हाँ जी नमस्कार नमस्कार जी नमस्कार सर सर नमस्कार सर डॉक्टर शर्मा आज का जो सर कार्यक्रम रहा मैं काफी लेट हुआ विलम्ब से आप लोगों से जुड़ पा रहा हूँ उसके पीछे कार्ड था कि मैं हमारे घर में एक पड़ोस में गमी हो गई थी मुझे वहां जाना पड़ा जस्ट मैं आया मैंने ज्वाइन करने का उचित समझा कि कुछ तो शेयर करूं जहां तक जो आज का थीम है हमारा आज का मिल्क के ऊपर दूध हाँ जी दुग्ध मिल्क स्तन ने कहा और हमारे यहाँ जो दुग्ध का वर्णन है सर आयु अकॉर्डिंग टू क्लासिकल रेफरेंसेस ए टाइप ऑफ मिल्क एक्सप्लेन इन चरका सर्वश्रेष्ठ मिल्क माना जाता है जिसे अपन स्त्री मिल्क या माँ का दुग्ध 
दूसरे नंबर पर गाय का दूध रहता है तीसरे नंबर पर बकरी गोट काऊ यू नो गोट ये जो दूध है ये मिल्क है इसको अमृत कहा आयुर्वेद आचार्य चरक ने कहा क्षीर जीवनिया नाम श्रेष्ठ ह जहां हम आयुर्वेदो अमृता नाम श्रेष्ठ कहते हैं आयुर्वेदो अमृता नाम श्रेष्ठ क्षीर जीवनिया नाम श्रेष्ठ उदकम आसु कारण अन्नमृति कारण स्पेसिफिक पर्टिकुलर किसी एक हर चीज को अकॉर्डिंग टू जो उसकी वाइटेलिटी है और जो वाइटल कैपेसिटी है बॉडी के लिए जिस तरह से वो सप्लीमेंटेशन करता है उसी के अनुसार आयुर्वेद ने उसको एक परिभाषित किया उसमें क्षीर को कहा क्षीर जीवन या नाम श्रेष्ठ आहारों में जो भी आहार आहार हमारा जो एक्सप्लेन है अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेदा दैट इज पंच महाभूतात्मक षड रसात्मक द्विविध वीरियात्मक विंसत गुणोक्त चतुर्विध इस तरह से हा उसको एक्सप्लेन किया तो जो चतुर्विध आहार है जो उसमें दुग्ध का या जो दुग्ध का अपन पंच भौतिक संगठन करेंगे जो हमारा शरीर है मानव शरीर पंच महाभूतों से निर्मित है इन पंच महाभूतों को हम लोगों ने समराइज किया है त्रिदोष में इन त्रिदोष के माध्यम से दोष और धातुओं का हम सप्लीमेंट न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यूएबल डाइट के माध्यम से पुष्टि करते हैं पोषण करते हैं तो वहां उन्होंने जहां क्षीर का वर्णन किया वहां रस धातु रक्त धातु मांस धातु तो ये दो हमारी आप्य महाभू आप्य महाभूत प्रधान जो धातुएं हैं दीज आर रस एवं रक्ता इन रस रक्त की जो पुष्टि के लिए सबसे ज्यादा और शुक्र धातु की पुष्टि के लिए क्षीर को दुग्ध को सबसे सर्वोत्कृष्ट माना आहार द्रव्यों में दूसरा यही आह मिल्क जिसको अमृत कहा आयुर्वेद ने यह अमृत किस रूप में है क्योंकि इसमें हमें प्रोटीन भी मिल रही है इसमें हमें फैट भी मिल रहा है इसमें हमें मिनरल्स मिल रहे हैं इसमें विटामिन ए मिल रहा है विटामिन डी मिल रहा है राइबोग्लोबिन मन मैक्सिमम डायट्री इंग्रेडिएंट्स का सप्लीमेंटेशन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ मिल्क यदि यह मिल्क हमें सही रूप से बिना किसी मिलावट के मिले कैसा होना चाहिए दूध में कोई आजकल जो यूरिया यूरिया और इससे केमिकलाइज जो मिल्क तैयार होता है वो हमारे लिए बड़ा घातक होता है हमारे शरीर के लिए कैंसरस होता है तो हमें यद दूध मिले भले ही दूध में पानी मिला लो पानी से कोई नुकसान नहीं होगा परंतु दूध में यद आपने जिस गाय का दूध निकालते हैं जिस भैंस का दूध निकालते हैं उसको आपने ऑक्सीटोसिन का इंजेक्शन लगाया फिर निकाला या आपने उसको कोई अदर डाइटरी इस तरह का सप्लीमेंटेशन उस जानवर को दिया तो वो हमारे लिए नुकसानदायक इसलिए हमको यद हम आयुर्वेद के माध्यम से पशुओं का आहार भी आहार का भी एक कंसेप्ट बनाए कि हमें हमारे यहाँ तो सर इतना तक वर्णन है कि अब हमें यद मेद्यता उसको ब्रेन टोन टोनिक बनाना है दूध को तो हमें बकरी को और गाय को शंख पुष्पी और मांस परणी और गौक्षुर का सेवन कराना चाहिए इसके अलावा यद हमें मांस की वृद्धि करना है उसके बॉडी में फैट बढ़ाना है उस स्थिति में आयुर्वेद ने कहा कि उसको बिनोलिया उसका जो उड़द की दाल जिससे उड़द होता है तो उसकी भूसी ये सब चीजें हैं जब हम उस गाय को खिलाएंगे उस भैंस को खिलाएंगे तो उसका जो दूध होगा उसमें हमें मांस वृद्धि के लिए सहयोगी सिद्ध होगा तो ये जो अमृत है दूध उस अमृत को आयुर्वेदीय अमृत बनाने के लिए हमारे वैद्यों को तोड़ा पशुओं के से संबंधित वैसे हमारे यहाँ गजा आयुर्वेद गवा आयुर्वेद आयुर्वेद की जो सेगमेंट्स हैं जो पार्ट्स हैं उसमें आयुर्वेद के अलावा जहा पेड़ों के ऊपर तो वृक्षों के ऊपर वृक्षा आयुर्वेद 
वृक्ष आयुर्वेद वाई पाराष्टर गवा आयुर्वेद गजा आयुर्वेद अश्व आयुर्वेद ये हस्ती आयुर्वेद जो नकुल सहदेव वगैरह थे वो इसके विशेषज्ञ थे तो यहाँ जहां हमें ज्यादा किसी पर्टिकुलर पर्पज से मिल्क में कोई गुण बढ़ाना है तो उस तरह का आहार फी, केटल फील्ड हमें तैयार करना चाहिए और उससे हम एक अच्छा दूध ये डेयरी फार्मिंग वालों को अपन एक अच्छा फीडिंग दे सकते हैं आयुर्वेदीय व्यवस्थापन में तो इस मिल्क को चाहे वो काऊ मिल्क हो या हमारे मिल्क काऊ मिल्क में जो हमारी देसी गाय है सर उसमें गोल्ड के भी एलिमेंट्स मिले हैं तो हम लोगों की बॉडी इम्यूनिटी के लिए व्याधि क्षमत्व रोग प्रतिबंधन में भी ये मिल्क हमारा बहुत उपयोगी है या अधिक उपयोगी सिद्ध हो सकता है हमारे कुपोषण वाले प्रोग्राम में भी हमें यद मान लीजिए कोई बच्चा माल न्यूट्रिशन वाला मिलता है उसको हम दलिया दूध के साथ देते हैं या अशुगंधा को दूध के साथ पकाते हैं सतावरी को दूध के साथ पका के उसकी खीर जैसी बना के उसका बर्फी बना के उसका कोई भी प्रिपरेशन करके बच्चों को देने से हम माल न्यूट्रिशन में काफी कुछ सफलता पा सकते हैं ये जो विश्व दुग्ध दिवस का जब से 2000 2001 से शायद प्रारंभ हुआ है जी हमारे यहाँ श्वेत क्रांति आई थी डॉक्टर वर्गीश जी के माध्यम से उन्होंने पूरे उनके जन्मदिन 22 नवंबर है शायद या 26 नवंबर उस दिन उस वो हमारा राष्ट्रीय दुग्ध दिवस के रूप में भी मनाया जाता है तो इन दोनों दुग्ध दिवसों का ध्यान रखते हुए हम अब जो दुग्ध मार्केट में है या जो भी दुग्ध चाहे किसी भी उसका हो सर वो जरा मेरा वो उसको अपन इस रूप में आयुर्वेदीय व्यवस्थापन में सुव्यवस्थित करके एक नया प्रयोग कर सकते हैं इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ अग्निहोत्री जी डॉक्टर पवन जी और सभी सहयोगियों को मैं धन्यवाद देते हुए सादर नमन करता हूँ शर्मा जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जी आपने जो अंक में अंत में जो बात बताया कि जो औषधियों के साथ दूध के साथ मिला के बर्फी जैसी बननी है चीज दिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग चीज दिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द फ्यूचर आई हैव यहाँ पे चैट बॉक्स में जी आई फुट यहाँ पे हरियाणा में कुंडली में एक है जी नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑन्टरप्रनियोरशिप एंड मैनेजमेंट अब उनके साथ भी होनी है जी चर्चा इस टाइप की बातों की ऊपर कि दूध की जो अदर प्रोडक्ट्स क्या कुछ बन सकती है और मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स के साथ मिला के क्या कुछ हो सकती है जैसे जैसे आपने बताया जी काफी इसमें डॉक्टर साहब देर आर मेनी पॉइंट्स दैट यू हैव टच्ड ऑन कि मिलावट की बात आपने जो बताया उसके ऊपर भी चर्चा होनी है जी जो शुभांगी जी ने जो बताया पहले कि हमारी प्रोडक्शन थोड़ा बढ़नी है हिंदुस्तान इज ऑलरेडी द वर्ल्ड लीडर इन मिल्क प्रोडक्शन मगर वी नीड टू इम्प्रूव दिस खेती बाड़ी के साथ कैसे करें गौपालन और खेती बाड़ी के साथ कैसे करें इसकी उसके भी उसके ऊपर भी चर्चा होनी है जी सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरक्शन टू हैपन एंड आई थिंक वी नीड टू ब्रिंग पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिसिप्लिन टूगेदर जी आज जो आप नहीं थे वी वर डिस्कसिंग ये जो आयुष्मान भारत की वेलनेस सेंटर जो शुरू कर वहां भी होनी है बातचीत इस टाइप का बातचीत जो आप कह रहे तो वी आर वेरी ग्रेटफुल यू हैव ज्वाइन दस सर फ्रॉम शायद आप ग्वालियर में हो आज पता नहीं कहाँ हो आज जी सर मैं ग्वालियर हूँ सर ग्वालियर में सुभाष जी सो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर साहब एंड वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू हैव हाईलाइटेड अंत में आपने तीन चार बात जो बताया कि दूध की जो क्वालिटी कैन बी चेंज विद मूंग की लीफ अर्जुन की पत्ते 
खिला के या शुगर के इनकी पत्ते खिला के कुछ और मिल सकता दूध में से सो दिस इज ऑल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जो व्याजीकरण की सेक्शन में चरक संहिता में काफी कुछ है जी इसकी थोड़ा और चर्चा करके जी दीज आर ऑल एडिशनल हाई वैल्यू प्रोडक्ट्स अगर प्रोडक्ट्स की तरफ से देखो कि देशी गाय की दूध अलग अलग फेड ऑन डिफरेंट ऑन मूंग की पत्ते या अर्जुन के पत्ते या शुगर के इनकी अलग क्वालिटीज दूध के अंदर जो आ सकती है एंड दिस आर ऑल वैल्यूएबल फ्यूचर के लिए जी दिस आर ऑल हाई वैल्यू बिजनेसेस तो सर आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड टू पॉइंट्स हां जी हां जी मेरा मिस हो गया था एक तो आवे डॉक्टर सीपी शर्मा साहब ने बहुत अच्छी बात उठाई कि जो बताया कि हम बहुत सारी मेडिसिन के साथ में इसका काम करते हैं हमारे तो बहुत सारे शोधन में गोदुग्ध ही आता है तो औषध निर्माण में और औषधि सेवन में दो जगह तो इसका उपयोग है ही चाहे हम अर्जुन छीरपाक बनाते हैं रसोन छीरपाक बनाते हैं पिपली छीरपाक बनाते हैं वहां से चल ही रहा है रिसर्च में लेकिन उससे सबसे बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज एक और आ गई हमारा जो रिलीजियस रिलीजियस पार्ट है जो हम टच नहीं कर पाए जो हम पंचामृत बनाते हैं तो उसमें तो स्ट्रिक्टली हमें गाय का ही दूध चाहिए होता है नो बोफेल और नो गोट नथिंग जैसे आपने कहा कि रुद्राभिषेक में गो, गोट का मिल देते हैं तो पंचामृत में चरणामृत नहीं चरणामृत तो खाली गंगा जी से चल जाएगा पंचामृत में गोदुग्ध ही चाहिए होता है वो भी अनबॉइल्ड चाहिए होता है अनबॉइल्ड अनबॉइल्ड गोदुग्ध होता है साथ में दही और शहद जितना है एक तो पॉइंट ये हो गया तो रिलीजियस एटलीस्ट हमारे संस्कारों में हमारे सनातन धर्म में पूजा पाठ जितने मंदिर हैं जहां भी चाहे वो विष्णु जी के हों चाहे शंकर जी के हों हनुमान जी के हों दुर्गा जी के हों पंचामृत की प्रवेशन में गोदुग्ध एक इसेंशियल पार्ट है एक चीज दूसरी एक चीज अब चर्चा में आई थी मैडम पारुल जोशी के टाइम पर उन्होंने जो कोट किया था रावण कृतम बाल तंत्रम बहुत ही सब लोग कहते हैं आंख आंख जी आ, तो, तो नहीं किसी ने देखा है लेकिन ये माना जाता है कि रावण दसों दिशाओं का ज्ञाता था यानी दसों दिशाओं में होने वाली जितनी हैपनिंग थी आजकल तो जो टू जी थ्री जी फोर जी फाइव जी से काम हो जाता है फाइव जी इसके पास है वो दसों दिशाओं की ऐसा हो सकता है लेकिन उन्होंने जो बाल तंत्र में जो बातें रखी और दूध के बारे में स्तनपान के बारे में बताई तो मेरे को एक हल्का सा एक रिफ्लेक्शन हो रहा है कि हमारा लंका कांड या रामचरित मानस हम कहीं भी देखें हमेशा एक चीज सुनने में आती है कि गर्भ श्रवई गर्व श्रवई मतलब जैसे भी कोई उत्पाद होता था हनुमान जी पहुंच गए या अंगद जी पहुंच गए या जोर से आवाज हो गई या युद्ध की कोई बात विविषका बनी तो गर्व प्राप्त हो जाया करता था इससे एक चीज तो क्लियर कट आती है कि मैंने उस, उस कुल में की महिलाएं नारियां अक्सर प्रेग्नेंट रहती थी और न रहती हो तो फिर इतनी बड़ी पूरा कुल और कैसे बनता तो चूंकि वहां पर अक्सर प्रेग्नेंट रहती थी कि जरा सा भी कोई डेवलपमेंट होता था तो वहां पर मिसकैरिज की बात बन जाती थी तो इसलिए यह बहुत आवश्यक रहा होगा कि जब जो पैदा होते होंगे वो कितने होते होंगे और उनकी मैंने वेलनेस के लिए क्या कुछ हो सकता है तो शायद रावण के तम जो पाल यंत्र रहा होगा तंत्र में उसमें मतलब हाउ टू फीड हाउ टू मेक दिन मोर एंड मोर मीन्स प्रोडक्टिव एंड पावरफुल विद एनर्जाइजिंग ऑफ द कंटेंट्स तो ये चीज जरूर रही होगी थोड़ा सा मान के चल रहे और चूंकि रावण जैसे एक रावण रावण संगीता भी है जो पूर्ण ज्योतिष विज्ञान से भरी हुई है तो ऐसे ही ये उनका जो अपना चिकित्सा विज्ञान से या पोषण विज्ञान से भरा होगा तो डॉक्टर पारुल ने अच्छा कोट किया था निश्चित रूप से वो अब एक रेयर ग्रंथ भी दुर्लभ ग्रंथ भी हो सकता है बट उसकी नॉलेज तो उसको यूज किया जा सकता है यही मैं कह रहा था थैंक यू अग्निहोत्री जी I am happy. Shubhangi ji is still here with us. Agnyotri ji, chat box me humne Anupama Pangal ka details dal rakha ji. Ye hai hamari Sonipat me Kundalli district me Kundalli me National Institute Food Technology Entrepreneurship and Management. Jo Sharma ji, Sharma ji ne jo bataya ji, alag alag different types of milk from cows. fed different types of green and their medicinal property this may, there is so much work to be done and i am happy that uh, sharma ji could join us at this last minute and share even more into the discussion so uh, agnyotri ji sharma ji uh, pranam good night to everybody sir, dhoma sir, ji sarve bhyo namo namaha
आप सभी को मेरा प्रणाम शुभ रात्रि सभी को शुभ रात्रि शिवांगी जी आप वी आर लुकिंग टू यू बहुत अच्छा रहा मैडम बहुत अच्छा रहा आप उनको जानती हैं डॉक्टर हाँ सर मैं जानती हूँ आपको आप चंडोला सर के बहुत अच्छे नहीं 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 वो तो है नहीं आप डॉक्टर अर्चना कुमले को भी जानती हैं अर्चना कुमले हाँ महाराष्ट्र से हमारे यहाँ डी में प्रिंसिपल नहीं अभी वो इधर चली गई है कोर आयुर्वेदिक कॉलेज में वो पीटीएसआर में है ना सर हाँ जी पीटी एस आर में थी सर पीटी में हाँ वो मेरी सीनियर थी पोदार में आरे पोदार वर्ली मुंबई में हाँ आरे आरे पोदार के वो हमारी डीआईएम से प्रिंसिपल थी अभी उन्होंने वहाँ से छोड़के इधर हरिद्वार में ही ज्वाइन किया है हाँ हाँ मैं जानती हूँ उनको सर हम लोग फर्स्ट ईयर एमडी में थे तब वो लोग फाइनल ईयर एमडी बहुत ही बहुत ही श्रेष्ठ महिला हैं बहुत ही केयरफुल ऑफ इवन इवन मतलब हम तो खैर प्रोफेसर हेड रहे लेकिन वो वही प्रिंसिपल थी हमने उनको पूरा रिस्पेक्ट किया तो कहती है अरे यू आर माय फादर फिगर बहुत बहुत ही रिस्पेक्ट बहुत ही सॉफ्ट स्पोकन है वो सॉफ्ट स्पोकन जी जी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू स जी वो जो आपके सर्किल के लोग हैं ना शायद संस्कार कहीं जहाँ जिसका पहले मिल जाए मोड़ी का मोड़ा का छोटे मोड़ा का कड़ा क्या बुराई तो भाई होना तो है छह महीने पहले और छह महीने बाद नहीं पहले सीक्वेंस में ही होगा घबरा गया हुए Gracias. 